And we live. Yeah. And we live, y'all. Episode 37 of the Longhouse Gaming Podcast. Silk Slayer. You right, just in time, baby. Hey. What's Gucci, everybody? We've got 22 people over here rocking with us already um, at the start of everything. As you guys can see, Mr. Positive, Supernova, gamer with a hard ER. <laughs> he ain't going to be able to make it today. But so that means we get to be negative today. Super <laughs> negative. <laughs> We about to wild out. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> y'all send y'all throw up the set for Supernova Man. Um, he'll be with us on Thursday. Um, but we do have my man, the Bone Collector, Mister. These spiders aren't adding up, Mister. I stream daily, <laughs> trying to get my rank up. Black Skeleton, how you doing, bro? I'm doing well, man. Try and get my rank up. Try and get my bank up. I don't know why I always say that <laughs> in my streams. I don't know why, but I'm here. Yeah, I wish Nofa was here. He will be with us on Thursday. Yeah, man. Um, today's show's going to be going pretty lit, man. Y- y'all know Queen Bond? Y'all know Queen Bond. We're going to talk about her a little bit today, bro. Listen, already, bro. The love is crazy. I fucking love it. Look at this. Hey. Six layer. Hey. Thank you for becoming a member of the Longhouse Gaming Podcast. My boy. Shout out to you, man. Welcome to the green. Yeah. Y'all throw up the motherfucking sets for the boy. That's my dog right there. The guy. The guy. Yo, it's uh y'all see all this this stuff surrounding Hellblade, bro? Man, that game gonna be fucking fire. Yeah. I think it's gonna be really good, honestly. Can't oh, wait. I watched the presentation this morning, bro, and they was talking about like all this mental health stuff and like the stigma behind it, bro. It was fucking f- listen guys it, when y'all get the chance go to ninja theories youtube watch their presentation they had this morning it was dope and we got a new look too of hellblade too like a little scene out there with our hearing the voices and shit man it was wild hellblade one had me tripping out not gonna lie yeah not in the you know the mental health whole out my mind but just the game itself had me like look over my shoulder like it's so good i can't wait yeah and guys if you haven't played hellblade one listen go ahead and play it it's mm, <clears throat> 10 to 12 hours maybe but um you it's a must it's a, just like you need a controller to play the game you need headphones oh yeah it is a must mm-hmm Y'all got that? It definitely makes you appreciate the ambiance, and there's more work put into it through that, through the sound yes. aspect. So, if you to appreciate it fully, you do, you do need a headset, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's part of it's part of the game, man. It's um, you know, this is a visual audio type of experience, man, mm-hmm. and that's what you need to do, man. That's what you need to you need to have headphones. Yeah, I couldn't imagine playing that with it like I, music playing in my background and just a normal type of game. <laughs> you are definitely not getting the whole experience that way whatsoever. A hundred percent. But let's go ahead and get this motherfucker started. We gonna oh forty six people up in this thing. <laughs> okay, y'all ready? Rock out with us. Did I pause it? <laughs> Did I pause it? Did the beat go what up? <laughs> what happened? I up and then my heat go up. Bang. Oh, Lord. StreamYard I'm... messing up, y'all. StreamYard be tripping out. Hold on. Let me let me see something. Oh, don't tell me. That worked. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Now we back on it. Shit. It wasn't buffering. 
You know what I'm saying? It better not cut off on me again. Y'all throw through sets, baby. <laughs> hey, Tokyo Trey, what's good? Legendary Yobi up in this motherfucker. What's up, boy? Isaac Hayes. Plus Jackson. Nerds. And other legends. Sapo. Dallas Ray, La Supremacy. One of the best mods in the building. 30 Below. What's good, baby? Stone King. Tokyo Trey. Him up. What my boy Young Dreads all this at? Shout out to you, my boy. Oh, we got Razor Ramon. Solid White. Wilfie Rosario. Funky Clam. What's poppin', baby? Oh, shit. We got some stuff to talk about, man. We got uh, Game Preservation. They said we gonna do it so good, we gotta set up a whole team. We gotta spend a block on these motherfuckers. Let them know we here to stay, baby. Feel me? We're gonna talk a little bit about Star Wars Outlaws. Hey, this shit look kind of crispy. I wonder if people gonna keep that. That shit gonna be 30 francs. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they gonna keep that same energy. You feel me? <laughs> and then we got Wii U and 3DS stores closing down. See how it goes full circle. We're talking about game preservation and all that shit. And these motherfuckers close down stores. We can't have it. We need legislation, legislators to do something about this. Shit. And then, we got a special interview. With Graham Reed, a.k.a. Graham of Legend, for his game, Super Space Club. We gonna talk about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gamsley, you trying to get in? <laughs> Gamsley said, I see a third seat open. He said, Let me in. <laughs> oh, shit. What up, Gamsley? Um, hold on one second. Yo, thank y'all for being here, man. 59 people rocking with us. Um, we, we get amazed by this shit every day. For every sure. Every day we come up on this thing. Um, y'all here to rock it with us. Lotus of Spree, what's happening? Hey. Um, yeah. So, Black Scale, you know the game. What you've been playing and watching, bro. What I've been playing and watching. Uh, I started my Diablo grind recently, Diablo 4. So, I'm about to be, uh, deep into that. Pause. Um, a lot of Valorant still. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of Valorant, just trying to get my rank up in that. Dogma still. I put I put a nice chunk in the dogma to where I said I need to maybe need to stop for a little a second, you know, put some time in some other stuff. And uh some super space club. Been playing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh but as far as watching, ah, one of my favorite shows of all time is on. And it just wrapped their season up is Curb Your Enthusiasm, bro. Season 12. Okay. That is one of my, when I say this, this is one of the funniest shows of all time. Every single season has me cracking up. <laughs> I'm not even playing. That is one of the best comedy shows of Larry all time. David. Larry fucking David, bro. <laughs> like, it, obviously it's good. They're on season 12, bro. And like that show it's on and that's all i'm watching right now i won't be watching anything until i finish that i'm already on episode three out of like 10 so that's what i'm watching what about you what you've been playing and watching first of all i saw paris in the chat what's up paris hey big bro yo uh he said 24 frame for the cinematic effects <laughs> <laughs> i mean that is that is the cinematic <laughs> yeah. oh man uh me playing um yeah super space club we're gonna talk about that game uh in a little bit graham's gonna join us um halfway through um and then i've been playing some halo i've been doing a lot of split screen with the kids bro they've ah. my, my twins are are eight bro and we just been listen i miss 
doing shit like that and bringing it back, bro, it's crazy. I'll have like, f- like f- four of them, right? They're on the same team with two bots or whatever, and it's just me and one other bot, and we just we would just cause havoc around, them, bro. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I taught them how to teabag, but they call it twerking. These new ah, age kids, new age. It's like stop twerking on me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's just as effective, though. Yeah. Like, if you don't get off me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it, it's a blast. And then, um, yeah, Dra- Dragon's Dogma 2, of course. Been playing that, too. The game uh, is so good still. It's... Uh, and it's then the good. newest patch, to um, you know, increased the frames a bit for the Series X. So Did it? It's running a bit better, yeah. That's good. That's why I feel like the the X is the consoles are just going to get better and better consistent frame rate. So eventually you'll get into town and it will be the same as outside. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Hope. Yeah, that's so because it's man that town play, town play is rough, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I barely notice it anymore though, man. Well, that's just because I don't yeah. give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> I barely notice it. Yeah. And it's like, it's crazy because when you're in the town, there's some moments that just are, you know, they're fine. But and not only that, it's just like there's so much outside of the towns, man. Like you're when you go into a cave, you're getting the best frame rate and the best movements you can like you can get on that. It's it looks amazing. Yeah, no, for sure. And then um, is that all I've been playing? I think so. Oh, super hot. Cause I play that on oh, VR, I played that. Mm-hmm. right? I played it on VR with the uh, the meta, mm-hmm. but um, I gave it a little shot on the Xbox, bro, and I <laughs> couldn't put it down. <laughs> it's man, it's tough to put down, man. Yeah. I played the first Super Hot on Control. I didn't play the VR one, but I played the first. You've one. You've never and... played the VR one? Nah, that's what's bro. crazy. I've only played the con- like controller ones. Listen, VR uh, Super Hot is nuts, bro. I bet. Because you'll be just grabbing stuff, bro, <laughs> and then, like trying to turn. You know, they, you move and they're coming at you. They're whatever. at your neck. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so in VR, that sounds fun, especially dude with a bat or a pipe or the knife or like the yeah. bullets. You're like, oh, the bullet is. You're probably looking at him like, dang, the bullet's right there type, you know. Yeah, and you get to dodge too, which is super dope. Mm-hmm. Like, you get to, oh, yeah. Super cool, man. Oh, that is cool, actually. I didn't even think about that. Actually, getting to dodge because you don't get to like move. Like you're gonna yeah. get hit. You get <laughs> like like duck down and shoot and shit. Mm-hmm. It's, it's cool, man. Um, it's and really good. Watching, I finally finished. Um, three body problem. Man, listen, listen, y'all. I know we've said it plenty of times on this show already. Just go fucking watch it. Yeah. Go watch it. Yeah. yeah. It's a hit. <laughs> t- <laughs> it is. It's a hit. Somebody a in hit. here said, um, have you, have we watched Monkey Man? Indian John Wick? No. Uh, Indian John Wick. <laughs> but yeah. I need to, bro. I heard the ratings. The rate, it's rated well, though. Yeah. I think. I I'm going to watch that. I'm going to watch. Well, I, every once in a while, I need that action fix in my life. So, Indian John Wick. I'm, man, I'm always that because you said that. <laughs> Hold on, who said Fallout tonight? I thought that's that wasn't until Wednesday on the tenth. Are Fallout they released to... they're releasing all episodes for that? I don't I don't I'm not sure. I don't care because I'm watching them one by one. I just don't <laughs> like I need at least three. I'd be fiending too hard on the Fallouts tonight. Full season. Flesh tonight and my guy. My guy. I I I I saw like the aliens oh, from. <laughs> oh, okay, tomorrow night, guys. Okay, tomorrow. That's what I figured. I thought it was tomorrow. Y'all so would it be tomorrow me? night or okay. two night to- at midnight? To- tomorrow night. I think. I don't know. I gotta go look it up. I'm watching Curb anyway, so if that pops out tomorrow, it's fine. It's all Curb for right now. I'm Larry David got my attention. Bro, that's golly, that shit is so funny. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's so well written. Uh, uh, guys, so if you if you all didn't know, we have a and a You guys can ask whatever you want. Uh, aside for questions like this, Gambler says, why are you wearing glasses, Viking? Hmm. Listen. Because <laughs> it's my motherfucking house. And I do what I want to. <laughs> in my house. <laughs> that is fair. 
Uh, <laughs> no, that's solid. Solid question. And don't give me the mean emoji like that either. <laughs> Uh, before we get into the first topic, let's get these uh, some of these questions that we have. Isaac Hayes eighty five says, "Do you think Nintendo is scared to move on to the next generation, especially given what happened when they tried to follow up to the Wii, to the Wii U, and it sold like dog shit?" Mm, I, I guess I'll go first on that. I'm not sure. I guess it depends on. It depends on the games that drop at launch, right? Um, because, like, another Zelda is probably another two years away. Um, yeah, minimum. Yeah. And then if it launches, like, with another Smash Bros. or Not Mario happening. Kart, right? But uh, it's difficult to say because... I wouldn't be incentivized to buy another Switch unless there was, like, some graphical increase on some of those games. If Mario Kart 9 looks like 8, I might just stick with 8. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Instead of buying a whole new system. like yeah. Or a new Fire Emblem that comes out. Like, mm-hmm. does it want to look better? Like, is this just going to be more of the same? But that's just me, though. People are going to eat up the Switch, uh, the Switch too, mm-hmm. whenever it comes out, right? Like at least at launch, we don't know if it'll if it'll escalate uh, throughout time, like the um, like the Switch did, because uh, that was the new hotness. That was a mobile dockable. I thing, was, bro, that was right? next gen. <clears throat> but coming this gen, there's a shitload of mobile devices, man. Like, and they have competition in that space now. You know what I mean? Given you got the Steam Deck, ROG, you know, Legion Go. Got a lot of stuff, man. So, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. What, what you think, Sco? Ain't no fear in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo ain't scared, bro. Nintendo will be just fine. It don't even matter if it's barely anything different. I think it will be a graphical, like, kind of overhaul just because if they put a number two on it i think it will be a little graphically like different i think it will be better but uh whatever they drop as far as their first party games uh people are going to get them regardless i'm one of them i need to play them joints like whenever they drop a new mario or new and it's only on that system i'm getting it whenever they drop it whatever is new as far as they give me a new donkey kong i'm i'm that i get like i and what they what they need at launch will probably be a new Mario or a new I like new iteration of their stuff. But I don't think they're scared because Nintendo can't really be messed with. I'm gonna be honest. Like them first parties are just too too good. They yeah. you see how long we've been on the Switch, bro. Come on now. <laughs> like we've been on the same. I forgot how long we've been on it. And the only thing they did was add an OLED. But the Switch has such good first party games. Like me and my friends are just had another smash bros tournament over the weekend it's like <laughs> it's it's still after all this time that was that came out a long time ago so i don't yeah. think nintendo is necessarily uh scared okay and then um spartan 661 says did anyone watch <clears throat> the ninja theory special today it was informative and quite interesting yeah um i brought it up at the beginning here uh Really fucking good. A journey into the mind, I think is what it was called for Hellblade. Um, they had people on there that, that, that deals with psychosis and shit like that, like giving their first account stories. I mean it was it was it was dope. It was really they didn't even need to do that either. That's what's so cool. It's like they didn't even have to show it is. They they have time. They could have just waited a little more throughout the month and just released. They said, Nah, we got you. <laughs> yeah. It's cool, man. I like I like their their mission. I like that. You know, people complain about how long the game is. Long? Like, I don't like, like about how short the game is. So uh, I should sure rephrase that. Because it's like an eight hour game or whatever. But like, do you want to be stuck in Sinuous Head like that for nah, more than eight hours? Not <laughs> really. No, it's so tense the whole time. It's yeah. feeling like yeah, nah, it's rough. <laughs> I'm good on all that. 
And I like a game, you know, being complete. I have no issue with a game just being a game. It has such the production value is so high that we can't expect anything longer than that. To be, I don't <clears throat> personally. Yeah. It's like y'all can't really expect this to go on for more than twelve hours, right? Like, look at what they're doing. You think you, these actors and stuff? How much do you want them to get paid? Like, they're they they're people too. <laughs> yeah, it's like they they have needs. They do. Um, but yeah, it's like, yeah, again, y'all got time today, tonight, tomorrow, next week. Y'all go check out that special. It was, it was, it was fucking dope. I agree. Um, all right, man. So let's go ahead and get cooking up on this shit, bro. Let me pull this up really quick. Let me share one of my screens. Uh, which one is it, bro? Sometimes I just, I don't like there we go. Windows Central. ta da And I got to fucking pull this out. All right, cool. Um, I'm about to upgrade to fucking st <laughs> Streamlabs, bro, because I would love to... Boom. All right, cool. Just have a one fucking button I can press, and it changes what I want it to do. Yeah. Um... Let me do something really quick. Thanks for hanging tight with us, guys. Um, really appreciate that. Gamsley, if you are watching. <laughs> I'm sending it. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say uh-oh? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So here we go. God damn it. I'm all over the place today. Shit. It's all right. Goodness. All right. So um, our boy Jez Corden dropped some heat a couple days ago about Xbox President Sarah Bond has set up a new team dedicated to game preservation. And this is the this is the the meat of it and forward compatibility. A whole team dedicated to it. Um, Sarah Bond recently sent out an email to rally the troops while also sharing some interesting bits on new processes on uh, bits of news in the process. These are her words. It's been nearly six months since we came together as an organization. Our collective achievements in that time frame are tremendous. Everyone should feel incredibly proud of what we've achieved and excited about the opportunities ahead sarah said uh we are moving full speed ahead on our next generation hardware focused on delivering the biggest technical leap ever <laughs> in a generation ever is crazy i'm sorry ever that, is nuts ever is crazy and that was planned that was they looked at that Bro, ever is ever crazy. is big. I'm looking even, bro. When I see when I see now, I was like, oh, you know what you said, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then she also touched on Microsoft's innovations in game and in, in gaming AI. We are innovating in gaming AI, focused on delivering player first, developer first value for discovery, engagement, and creator velocity. Um, we are integrating, uh, and this was some, some pretty heavy news too. Like we are integrating Activision Blizzard King titles into our services and we launched Diablo four into game pass and Xbox has be quickly become the number one platform for Diablo four players. Really? Yes. I didn't, that's, that's crazy. So if you look on the charts, Diablo 4 was like number 40 most played on um, in Xbox, right? Mm -hmm. They dropped it in the Game Pass, quickly became a top 10. Mm. Damn. The power of motherfucking Game Pass, boy. Oh, it's on my computer, so they got me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and we are integrating with Battle.net, all while launching COD, Warzone Mobile, and preparing for our upcoming Hellblade 2. Avowed and Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Listen, 
th- those three titles alone, like fuck, that's good. But they still got Towerborn replaced. Uh, they got Stalker two coming. Like there's just mm-hmm. so much fucking goodness this year. And then we are. I'm already spent. The I gotta buy fucking re- No Rest for the Wicked on the 18th for early access on Steam. Like I'm already like Diablo two is probably going to be my game I play throughout the year. Right, like until a new RPG comes out. Yeah, but fuck, there's just so many games, bro. This year, there is heat. There is heat this year. Yeah. Um. So this is this is the the good stuff, right? So we have formed a new team dedicated to game preservation, important to all of us at Xbox and the industry itself. Bond said, uh, "We are building on our strong history of delivering backwards compatibility to our players, and we remain committed to bringing forward the amazing library of <laughs> Xbox games." for future generations of players to enjoy. Bruh. Okay. I want to hear your thoughts first on on this goodness. Or do you call it goodness? What do you call it? What do you want to call it? I'm glad. It is goodness. It is goodness. I'm glad you said, do I call it goodness? Because (laughs) it, in, it in, in general, in the grand scheme, it is goodness. For me personally, it's all right because I just don't play – I don't go back and play old games. I've said that you know, a bunch of times. Like, I'm yeah. more, I'm pretty much one and done with a lot of games unless it was, like, you know, the couch gaming type or stuff like Bond, you know, GoldenEye type, you right, know, right. going back to those type of games. But um, I think in the grand scheme, this is great. People, because I I'm I'm kind of in the lower percentage of people who don't go back and play stuff. You know what I mean? So right. for have keeping, I mean the Xbox catalog is fat. Now come on, and I can't. I would be <laughs> ridiculous to say I would never go back and play some old stuff. You know what I mean? Like I just think yeah. a, I just I'm, I'd be unwise and ignorant to say that. So yes, in the grand scheme, and this is I like this because people are having problems playing old games you know and i i have in my notes that why don't we just keep the games on the consoles they came out on and that way you can just keep but also and then i was right now i was like man but nobody wants to keep that space like that what do you yeah. like nobody would really wants to do that they, they want to move on as well but they want to keep what they had and then it's always like okay i i understand i'm not the keep what i had type of guy unless it's something that's you know, currently in meta, because, you know, I've seen a lot of games come up and they go down <laughs> while yeah. they're new. You know what I mean? So it's like I'm, I'm the type to, you know, games can go. But I think uh, in the initial thoughts, uh, the grand scheme, yeah, this is good, man. If people want their games, what up? What up? <laughs> my, my good brother, Gamsley. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I got no pants on. Let's go. How are you? <laughs> good, man. <laughs> what's up guys yeah, uh man, skellington chill. nice to see you guys i'm ready let's go let's talk let's talk that talk baby no i get, yeah. I get ex- exactly get what you're saying skill um mm-hmm. i guess like for game preservation for me i it's just the principle of the fucking thing right like if i have a dvd not not a not a 4k blu-ray not a blu-ray if i have a regular ass dvd i should be able to pop that bitch into whatever i want to and it should play right same goes for regular xbox games 360 games xbox one games whatever i should just be able to play my game that i purchased and let it and let it be good like yeah. not this stuff that where i have a ps3 game and i can't play it on my playstation 5 you know what I mean? Like that's ridiculous, right? See, I don't understand. I, I think I guess like regulators have to get involved or something like that. Like because imagine if you did buy a DV, had a DVD and you popped it in, I was like not compatible with 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 with, <laughs> with this two thousand and and twenty four DVD player, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Like no, I'm not gonna mm-hmm. with that. What about you, Gamsley? What you think about all this? game preservation stuff and uh her setting up a team yeah no i i think that 
um backwards compatibility and forward cap- uh, compatibility uh is super scary for Sony as well. Um they don't want this to happen. They they want they want to keep their they want to gatekeep as much as possible cuz they're winning that match, right? They don't want to step in the ring with another opponent in another like ring. They want to be controlled. They want to be they want to be yeah. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson, <laughs> you know what I mean? They want to be controlled. They want to have the rules uh in their favor um but microsoft is moving away from that stuff really quickly and honestly out of all the companies i trust them with my digital library um most like even out of steam etc etc they just have the backing they have the money to keep the servers alive they have the money to keep everything alive i mean yeah man i'm i'm in it i'm excited and they're a huge conglomerate to where oh yeah if they did do something like that congress would be on their ass Oh, because big they, time! You know what I mean? Like they're not—they're not, they're not mm-hmm. Crunchyroll or Funimation. <laughs> Crunchyroll. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they are wind. They are Microsoft. Yeah. Hell yeah, man! Saying? And and anybody wants—they want to take down. You know, what mm-hmm. I'm saying? big Fortune 500 companies like that if the, if they got the opportunity to. One hundred percent. So, yeah. So I'm I'm super fucking. I don't know. Just the news for some reason excited me because when they talk, they keep on bringing up the word forward compatibility. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was that article that came out. Um, I think that was the verge. The verge. I think did Tom Warren write this? I'm not sure. Well, I would have to about, confirm that, but I'm pretty uh, sure about uh, Microsoft is confident in the windows on arm could finally beat Apple. Right. So like mm-hmm. to me, like there's a so, there's so much so many moving parts happening to where we might be getting a Microsoft OS for next generation, you know, with the whole steam and epic shit happening and like a PC slash console hybrid type of thing to where um, for cap capability would be a problem. But since they have a whole team dedicated to it they are trying to probably work out uh, licensing issues and all this other hoot and nanny that goes along with that because i mean yeah, it looks like the, i mean switching from x86 to arm is pretty crazy if they decide mm-hmm. to do that um but yeah it's crazy no shit. crazy times right like it's it's such crazy times to think that like PC and Xbox and all these other platforms would be so close together. Um, just thinking 10 years ago, right? If you look yeah. forward now, you're like, whoa, the landscape is shifting very quickly. Yes. <laughs> and um, I, I fucking, I, sorry, I love it. Like, uh, no, sorry for the swears, but, um, <laughs> oh, I fucking love it, man. <laughs> I fucking love it. I'm ready for it. I, I just, I think freedom as we get older, you know, it's what we crave. We crave the freedom. We don't want to yeah. be locked down somewhere. Um, it's just, we need that. And I think that uh, Microsoft is trying very heavily to break down the walls. So I can't wait. They also could be reading, and y'all tell me if y'all agree with this. They could be reading the tea leaves of what's happening with Apple right now in the EU right Mm -hmm. so with the phones they have to open it up to third party stores right like what what's different than a phone than a console like what's different in that aspect you know what Mm -hmm. i mean so they could be reading the tea leaves like because once you start to do it in in europe it's it's going to move its way more western uh to to north america and the like. i have a I have a very quick question for you both because I know I sound insane here, but like, what is stopping Microsoft but by having like, let's say, you know, they have an affordable handheld ish, then they have like the Series X ish, like the mainstream box that's affordable and capable. But what do you think? Do you think that in the future they might just say, you know what, fuck it, let's just give people options to have like a seven? 99 or 699 console that will be that leap in technology that people are thinking and that they actually might actually just make money straight away on the box itself and kind of go towards the surface kind of mindset where it's just like look we have this option this option this option whatever your wallet could afford i mean go for it and you get the performance for it you know what i mean do you think that that's like a possibility one day to see because we talk about like the 
the storefronts being able to be played on it and being more open and such and such and you know having that um vision of being a pc finally being realized do you think they start like just giving us way more options than we think and having that high-end option 699 ish you scale you want to take that first um I, I could definitely see that as an option, especially going off the model of like phones and just a lot of other tech mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I could I could see that personally. I don't want that because the, when the high end model, it, it it's going to make me get a PC. It, it depends on how much yeah. it costs. It's like if, yeah. if it's that expensive. A PC is probably not too far off. You know what I mean? And when do I you PC, think six ninety nine or six ninety nine would tempt you? Like six ninety nine, uh, seven ninety nine. That, that would be the six ninety nine being the lower end model, or that's that's the high end. That's that's basically like that's the at least a fifteen percent upgrade. You know, ten percent. Um, I'm more of a power guy. I'm gonna end up getting. Like, yeah, you need I, that big buy, giant. When I buy iPhones, mm -hmm. I buy Pro versions. When I buy MacBooks, I get Pro versions. Like I I get these. I go for power versions. So I'm gonna end up looking at okay. the ticket. And my thing is like I get bad buyer's remorse i'm like and so when I, <laughs> when I buy that i bought an iphone 12 a while, a while ago and I, I was like okay i'm okay with it because they didn't have the pros in i was like i'll just rest in peace i took it back and i was like i can't do this i'm missing out on pro features i'm like oh they have that on the, the cameras but this, this, this i'm like oh, i miss out i, I I'm, I'm upset so uh yeah i don't personally i'm probably not cool with it but uh i could see that being okay and it also depends to me on what the what the differences are in the systems like is the high end going to give me let's just say 60 frames and then the mid and lower they're getting 30 or 45 20 type of thing it's like then dang that that's yeah that's a, what i'm thinking right that's a yeah. huge difference then that's a that's different what you think uh, like okay so i probably not in the way that you got that that you brought the question up gamsley but i i think that Microsoft will always do their traditional bespoke box, right? Mm -hmm. But if they create a Microsoft, a uh, 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 Xbox OS, there could be a world where third party companies, let's say Dell, Alienware, like other companies, make those high end console boxes. Oh. Um, yeah and you just yep. have the xbox os on there that way xbox doesn't have to take the risk mm -hmm. right, of of making a very high end and it's sitting on the shelves because everybody wants to lower it in one um so yeah a lot that's of why saying too many skews like i think yeah in the future i think we we have to think of this as i mean how many skews are on pcs Right. A like, lot, a lot. Right. That's why I brought. That's why I brought up Surface, right? Because right. that's that. That was their idea. Was that they, they were like, you know what? We're gonna do the thing. We're gonna show everybody what Windows is capable of in a, let's say, Apple kind of way, a more right. um, refined way. And that's why they they sent the Surface out. They're like, this, these are what Windows could be and what they should feel like. And that's their vision for Surface. So that's what I'm thinking about Xbox, where, you know, they do truly put out the middle box that they always will have, like the affordable box of the power specs that we expect of like a PS5 or PS6 or 7, whatever. And then they have the real like here. Let's open up to Dell and all these other SKUs. But this big high end model is what Xbox is, and that's what they kind of lead forward with and make money with. But that's my vision, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I can see it go either way. Um, there's just I think in the future there's going to be a shit ton of options. I think and, if you there's like mm -hmm. you said with the OS thing makes it a big. I I could see that third party people making their own stuff for, with the OS and it's like you just have a more powerful one with. But if you have a general mm -hmm. OS, I think uh, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, and and guess who that benefits? These motherfuckers. All of us. Oh, yeah. Chat, <laughs> yeah. It benefits us. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Because if there's more boxes out there for you to, to buy, the more competitive they have to be with their pricing. Um, it's going to be fucking fantastic. Same thing with... Um, I, I hope that Xbox allows the Steam store on the Xbox. You know why? Because Steam sales kick fucking 
ass. For sure. Yeah, dude. For sure. And that's why that's why it, it kind of causes me pause. Sorry, Viking, because it, it oh, causes what? me pause in that scenario because like, you know, they they do if they don't do the skew thing, if they don't find a way to make money on hardware, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then inviting other platforms that's like always we talk about it with asa all the time uh myself and deadly headley is that like there's one thing i kind of am scared for xbox is like steam is really hard to compete with on prices and if you're trying to get sales and all that stuff and people are buying it on steam instead of your store that's kind of devastating and unprecedented for storefronts or competing storefronts to be right in your face so that's why i i give pause of like like why that's also why phil said epic and the other itchio i don't know what that store was but he didn't specifically i don't think mention steam because i think it's such a like it's such a powerful (laughs) yeah it's hard to get (laughs) it's like yeah maybe you do buy xbox games on steam but you also buy everything else on steam which will hurt their bottom line a little bit you know that's a good point i didn't think about that really because I've it, cause yeah. the game, same game on Xbox could be on sale on the C, on the Steam. Store, a- exactly, you know? exactly. Right. That's what I'm talking about. So that's why it gives me a little bit of like, oof, that might that might fuck with them a little bit, yeah. you know. Huh. That's a good point. I, that, when I bought Age of Wonders, I said this I think on one of our previous shows. I bought Age of Wonders, the like the with the whole kit and caboodle, all of it, mm. right? It's uh, so good. <laughs> it's so good. Twenty bucks. Right, but I wanted to buy it on the Xbox store because I saw it was there, so I can get like my Xbox achievements. Mm-hmm. But it was like sixty bucks. And I was like, no, I'm going to get it on Steam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the dilemma, right? right? But like with like Epic, Epic Store, it's like a different story. You know, they're handing out games free. They're not that big. I could see Xbox kind of controlling the narrative there, right? Yeah. But with Steam, it's just like, oh man, that's a different monster right now. Not to mention they have a platform. You know, like a, a handheld, they have hardware now. It's like, mm, we got to make money on the box, right? Right. Like make yeah, it a PC kind of thing. Yeah, but if like they do allow Steam, I think that that puts, it might be a dilemma, but it almost might be a good thing um, that their Xbox's prices would have to compete as well. And sure, they probably in the short term. That's a good point. A, a lot, but... In the long term, they probably could because people are buying more. They are invested into more games. That helps out developers. Um, yeah, because like Game Pass allows me to buy more games than I've ever bought before. Um, yeah. And and try games that I've never tried before, right? <laughs> um, For sure. Because mm-hmm. I would have never bought Brotato. <laughs> yeah, baby. Are you in the Brotato camp? I Please am. tell me you're in clip this clip this right now whoever you are flush i know you're in the chat clip this right now so i can send it to asa all right continue sorry let's go not like it (laughs) no because we've had a feud since the beginning of our podcast of like that was the first recommendation on episode one i was like play brotato and he's like i fucking hate that game (laughs) gamsley sucks and i'm like what and i've just made it my mission just to push that game so thank you viking thank you thank Thank you for this win continue yeah it's a very cool game man um but yeah yeah you're saying game pass makes you play more games more more games i think steam would drive having steam known to be on the if it was on the handheld device for xbox would drive that uh xbox sales console sales too like they would just make people will buy it because it's on there now they might not sell the games but at least they bought hardware so i don't know mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and most most people who have pcs also like that would be the box to get right it would be the box oh, to put in your living room for my yeah. like, like first Steam games you know yeah. I mean? so mm-hmm. and then, then game pass is there that's more game pass subscribers you know like do you think xbox would make enough money off having steam on there like because yeah that's that's what I was thinking. That, enough, yeah. Enough. That's why I was thinking the the surface route. It's like they they have to make almost like they have to make dollar on the sales instead of what their current model is. Like they would have to basically be like, okay, maybe Steam cannibalizes our sales. Maybe we have to be competitive with them, lower our prices, blah blah blah. But we have to 
increase and make the profit on the hardware a little bit more than we do now. And I think that's like the only way, like, I think that's why we see maybe a 799, you know, beast of a console one day is because they got to make the money on the console as well if they invite other platforms. Yeah, true. Yeah, 100%. Let me get to some of these super chats really quick before we move on. Um, let's see. Tokyo Trey with the 500 a yen. He said, Ooh. keep up. Keep up this news for real gamers at the Longhouse Gaming Podcast. Lucky You Japan always recommends your vids as the Hell go yeah. to yes. for info. Thank you, my brother. Shout out to Japan. Tokyo Trey. <laughs> Japan's going? amazing. Lovely. Yeah. My boy. Big fan. Uh, and then we got Pioneer. Hey. Gifted five of them things. He uh he got one for Talos Ray, Goat Status, Dolanite, Senpa Kaju, yeah, and Pat Man Jones. Yo, shout out to you, Pioneer. I appreciate so it. cool. So That's cool, man. Where's the horn? Are you gonna get your horn out? <laughs> pause. <laughs> no pause here, baby. <laughs> Is now, it a bear? Oh, lips. Oh Jesus, it's all there bear and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just get a, get a good grip on hang out you there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> two hands, two hands. Two hands. That's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 guys, that was actually your best one. I should come on more. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm blowing good for Gamsley. Don't clip that. Uh-oh, I'm a high <laughs> clip that. Clip that right now. <laughs> right now. Right. <laughs> I'll pay whoever clipped that. All right. Out of my pocket. Oh my gosh. And then Pioneer Gift, $2. He said, $2? Thank Thanks, bro. Thank you. Then another two. He said, Great show. I need to know Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars. Ooh, hoo, 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 man. <laughs> you know what? I. I'm surprised you went fast on that one. I just like it. Star more. Wars right away, right away. Yeah, huh? I, I'm. I would. I'm the same way. I, I love Star Wars so much. I'm a. I'm a Star Wars shill. Like I, I will eat and devour anything Star Wars. I'm on like 15 books at the moment. Like I'm just catching up on the universe and the lore. Um, but uh, yeah, it give me pause only because Star Trek is like, man, Skellington. Like Star Trek is. So solid like no, storytelling I, I, you know it's solid storytelling it's very um the themes are incredible and it's just well balanced uh, overall but yeah i'm gonna ultimately take star wars because that's my heart um and that's how i grew up but i think it's yeah, just star trek Wars very close movies though i think i'm just more of a movie buff so it's just like seeing mm-hmm. when i first saw because the first star wars i got into to be honest was episode one so when i saw yeah. that i was i was young so i was like this is sick darth maul so cool and then <laughs> I was like, so, so then i went back and i was like wait that kid is darth v-. and then i went back and i was like this is how they set it up <laughs> what I was tripping, man. I was yeah, tripping man. out. So that's why Star Wars has told a special place for tripping me out like that. Yeah, it it's it's that flash, right? It's almost like a it's it's that flash. It's like a Sony game versus Elden Ring. You know what I mean? No, I'm kidding. Um, no, it's just it's just, it's just you know <laughs> whoever got that, you know, shout out. But um, the the yeah that's that's what it comes down to it's really hard to argue with the flash of lightsabers and the flash of like darth maul like those incredible villains like darth vader and how cool he looks it's just made for like cool factor you know but yeah i agree um i'm gonna pick neither oh oh my god neither is good. i got a soka over here look at this i got a soka here i'm i got star wars freaking controller if you can see in the back man i'm pissed no, no, I, I, <laughs> i'm no, out i like i like star wars over star trek but my stargate is is top oh top. oh that's a nice shout out sg1 yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Stargate, stargate is is my was my jam i'm uh, not mad at that Star mm. Wars was always cool, but I was never like geeked out on it. Star Trek, same way, it was cool. Never geeked out on it. Uh, Man, I had a hard crush on the. I had a hard crush on the protect, like the main protagonist chick, like the, oh, the yes. side girl there. <laughs> oh my god, I had, I had a hard crush on that 
chick, yeah. man. Oh uh, man, that whole cast was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, let's go ahead. Let's move on to yours because we got about a couple. We got you know fifteen more minutes until Graham gets here. Um. Let's do it, Scale. Set it up. Yes. Yes. So. Last week, I talked about the Ubisoft Forward event. They uh, said they were going to have a showcase in June. And then today, they released a, or Ubisoft released a Star Wars Outlaws story trailer. And then a release date for August 30th. So the show and then the game will be coming shortly after. Not bad. That's pretty cool. I'm not too mad at that. Uh, just initial thoughts. I wonder if you guys watched it. What did you guys think about the Star Wars trailer? As initially, oh, sorry, you, you're uh, muted, Viking. You can start gambling. There you go. Sorry. Oh yeah. Okay. No. Ah oh, man. Uh, even without this trailer, I was already hyped. This one. This one got me even like even more. I think the general consensus on this whole thing. Uh, like, I mean, it it just enhanced. It enhanced the ins- excitement. It seems throughout the Twitter sphere as well. Um, I think the hype is just elevated after this i i love it i love everything that i'm seeing the division guys are pretty stellar at what they do they're so good at like environmental storytelling as well as gameplay and i just i love those guys and i'm ready this looks like this looks like it's gonna be a good time right definitely do you think viking initial Uh, thoughts i have my initial thoughts and i got a couple fucking gripes okay okay yep (laughs) <laughs> and it has nothing to do. Okay. It has something to do with the game, but not the game. The game looked dope. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. They, well, I, I might get Ubisoft Plus because you get the deluxe edition mm-hmm. um, with Ubisoft Plus. Um, but no, it was fine. It, uh, this is great. It looked great. Uh, I need people to know that it's going to be 30 FPS. <laughs> oh, don't bring that up, <laughs> please. No. Have so, to. so so hopefully y'all have the same energy. <laughs> you know, oh, it's it's yeah. going to be. Um, I saw two things. I saw somebody complaining mm. that internet access was required to download. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. To download, people were griping. I was like, okay. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> electricity's needed to turn on PC. You fucking dipshit. Really, you just like, you just rub a twig between your legs and it's yes, all good. We, we are. <laughs> We are in 2024. <laughs> what are we doing? Right. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. bruh, mm-hmm. what? And then the second thing, I see these motherfucking incels talking about the, the female oh, character. Incels. <laughs> like, guys, go, listen, do me a favor. Just go to the club and talk to a woman. Like, <laughs> or anything. Club, or order anything. Or something at Starbucks. <laughs> Would y'all stop this bullshit? This Something. agenda of like what females look like in these fucking games. Shut up. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Play the fucking game. What are they wanting? I just don't. They're they're wanting everything to look like stellar yams. <laughs> St- stellar gams, as in stellar gamsley. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. All right. Thank you for that. Don't make me stand when, up. When it drops, I'm going to Photoshop your face on. Please, to, please I, do it. Yes. <laughs> please do it. it I'm ready. I'm <laughs> ready. <laughs> but blood, y'all need to come, like listen, bro. I don't know like what some of these people's like love life is like, or what women did to them. Mm-hmm. You know, if they or didn't fresh and fit, or like mm-hmm. what they doing, bro. But they are wilding out here in these streets. Talking about these fucking female character models. Just play the goddamn game. I play the game. Cool. I didn't understand. I thought she looked cool too. Like, <laughs> like listen. She looks like, f- totally normal and fine. Yeah, you know? I don't yeah. understand. Bruh, mm-hmm. What are we doing here? In a Star Wars mm-hmm. universe, I don't care what any that person's not liable not even be a human being. It's no, like, the Twilex, man. The Twilex. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's like I don't I don't. That's strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it's just this whole Twitter spiel, dumbass. What's the, Grums? Whatever his name. Is. It's this whole agenda pushing on West versus East. What care? What females look like? Some liberal agenda type bullshit. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Like, shut up. Uh, yeah, Gamsley, tell him. God damn! Fuck. Shit. Shut. <laughs> 
up. It is too much social media because the average motherfucker looks at it and it's like, that's a cool game. Not like, no, why does she have a cliff chin? Her eyes yeah. are too far apart. Like, why does she Oh, man, it's like, like, savage. Shut, shut up. It's <laughs> They're like measuring tapes. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Fuck. And then they did it yeah. to her and took like the most awkward ass clip of her. And then like, but uh, bruh, uh, this shit is annoying as fuck to me, right? Yeah. You would think that they was giving everybody Killmonger haircuts out here. You know what I mean? Oh my God. <laughs> Don't bring up the haircut. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like, fight, it's almost like when, it's almost like that. when, Micro- <laughs> it's only like, it's only like uh, if, when Microsoft was like, hey, we might be opening our platform a little bit people are like oh no what are what are we where, where, what are we going to point our negativity to oh no oh yes women okay women win yeah women stuff <laughs> yeah it's like bro fucking calm down just play games man let's let's just play games stellar blade by the way amazing so go play that Is demo it, i want to play, I it. play the demo. oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah it's it's for reals that thing yeah Okay. Oh yeah. I'll uh, I'll give it a shot. Probably. Oh, there's just so many fucking games. To yeah, play I just right got now. games to play. <laughs> what what uh, did I miss the the section where you you, you told everybody what you were playing? I, yeah, I know I came did. a little bit late. Late. I oh I I've been playing DD two. You know that thirty FPS game. Um, <laughs> it's really fucking good, guys. Oh, Dragon Dogma so, two is listen, so good. So good. It's fucking. It's so neat. good. Oh what man, I I am twenty five at the moment. Okay. So I, I'm I'm I would say so I played I replayed the first one by the way. I replayed the first game before I played this one because I I heard a I don't know which podcast that I was listening to. It might have been ACG saying that like there's connective tissue between the the two, and I was like, oh man, I gotta finish DD1. So I finished DD1 because I wanted to see what he was talking about, and then when I started DD2, I, it freaking mega hooked me. It, it almost reminded me of like my transition between Orcarina of Time and Majora's Mask. I was like intrigued because I was like, oh, there's like, you know, connective lore tissue that's being like meshed here. I, I, mm, juicy. <laughs> so, so I had, I, it was kind of the feeling, not to the same extent. It's not as connected as that, but there is a very deep lore reason on why you see that splash of dragon dogma, right? Instead of, you know, no. Uh, dragon dogma 2 on the splash screen but um it's 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 lovely it's a lovely game i can't i can't wait to beat it uh i'm probably gonna play it over and over again because uh if it's anything like the first one there's multiple choices so yeah. i hope there's multiple choices here i haven't beat it yet but i'm, I'm wishing okay. and hoping yeah it's probably gonna be my uh, rpg this year until avowed comes out that i just mm. keep on playing like um like a you know slowly slowly but surely i'm level 27 right now uh no 29 29 now um it's just so good bro and i've barely touched any main missions mm-hmm. there's barely, a lot of side bro. quests bro there's a lot of there's a lot of game outside of that main story for sure yeah mm-hmm. and I just, it's not even like the side quest that i do it's just like i went and i don't even like the mist area have you gone to that I don't know. <laughs> don't 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 okay. spoil. Don't spoil. <laughs> I, I just went there venturing, mm-hmm. and it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy yeah. is that I think this that's what the game is intended for is to bro. You're walking so much. <laughs> like yes. there's like the fast travel thing i think is literally a part of their system like they don't want you to be fast traveling a lot they want you to walk place to place they want you to explore a lot and i i once that clicked in my head that i'm not going home for a while <laughs> it makes the game better it's like, okay yeah, i really need to camp the, out like i'm scares not the going shit home. out of you you it, know what i mean yeah it's, for sure it's scary when you start hearing the freaking <laughs> fucking eagles and you're like what the fuck is going on i can't see shit bro, those oh, fucking psychoses. harpies man the harpies <laughs> yeah, are the those. worst thing in the game for me still yeah, i'm level yeah. 40 that oh, shit is God. the harpies still will eat they bro. like carry you up you're, you just hear them singing and you're like oh those fucks i can't even see them like i'm a warrior it's worse for me you know yeah, i'm, I'm like oh no man. what am i gonna do you, you guys carry have archers in your party 
Yeah, I have yeah, to. I do, them. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. For mm -hmm. them. When I say okay. I was Smart going thing. on a mission, I was, bro, there's a mission where I was going on top of a mountain, bro. Harpy's up there. Literally, one of them gets my my pawn, just drops his ass off the mountain. I'm like, well, there's <laughs> one. Drop, and then he kicks me off of it. I'm like, well, there I go. And then my fucking pawns are up there just fighting. And I'm, it's it's so good, man. I I know everyone's having a totally different experience oh, on that man. game. Everyone's it, having their it's own It's fantastic. Part. I, I think, like, um, I just popped that uh, achievement of actually getting, like, killing the Cyclops off the bridge type of yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, there's the one achievement specifically that you have to walk across the, the, the Cyclops when he falls and grabs yeah. the ledge. Mm -hmm. So I did that where, uh, finally, and it's been, like, again, I'm level 25. It's been so many hours, but I finally did it. And it's yeah. so satisfying. It's just... I freaking love it, man. It's so it, it blows my mind every time, every playthrough. Yeah. Or every hour I spend with it. Definitely. Uh Taylor Parker said, guys, what do you guys think about the rumor about Square Enix could be possibly be bought by Microsoft? I, I give mm. that I give that no no credence yet until I see some, <laughs> some <laughs> Can we some actually talk about it though? Can we yeah, talk I about mean, that? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like so thanks for bringing that up guys um but uh is that you know, your burner I, account right there and you just wanted to oh, talk about it yes <laughs> oh. just gonna, i'm just kidding <laughs> thank you i say that was, For, <laughs> <laughs> that was yes sweet. bring <laughs> gamsley back <laughs> hold on <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. so I'm just kidding. yeah no um it, it I, I was thinking about this. I was like, you know, it makes sense uh, in one way because they, they wouldn't be that much money, right? They'd be like, what, uh, 8 billion, 10 billion, oh, like a scratch in the bucket towards like the overall like Activision Blizzard thing that they had to deal with, right? I, right. I think they could push that through with a lot of challenge. Like if they just say, hey, man, yeah, that's this is what we're going to do. Here's here's all the games on every platform and just buy them and just buy them to get like all their games at least on their platform like that would be lovely if they just yeah. do that and be like look regulators this is not about anything everybody's gonna get our games sign 10-year deals i don't care we just want them on my fucking platform it makes sense there but um in the short answer here no i don't think they're ever gonna do that i think i think that contracts are running out yep. and even nintendo are nipping at square's feet because yeah. we know that companies right now, especially third party, are looking to grow. And Square Enix, more than anyone, needs to grow because they have the biggest IP, like one of the biggest JRPGs in the world, that is stagnant yeah. forever now. If anything, going down, and it shouldn't. Mm -hmm. right. You know, They need to really push multiple platforms and show people consistency and show people why Final Fantasy is amazing. And that's on Switch xbox and pc and honestly switch is the big one so i don't i don't think they need to part uh, buy them i think square is looking to be partners again to everybody and i yeah. think that's easy money and less less problems for them to manage so i think partnership bef before bought purchasing yeah, yeah i agree too and i think purchasing japanese companies for foreigners is extremely difficult oh, and man, i think so. nintendo would fuck with them if yeah, they yeah, yeah. did try yeah, yeah. Big facts. Graham Reed. Chat. <laughs> Throw up the set for our brother. Our Jamaican brother. Wagwan. <laughs> Wagwan. <laughs> Graham <laughs> Reed. Gamsley, I know you probably wasn't anticipating this, but we are going to do a nice little interview with Graham Reed because I'm impressed with this young fella. Graham, can you... I love his headphones. Can, can you please... Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> how, how, are, how old are you, brother? I am 33. 33. Yeah. Listen, nice. We're going to talk about his game. I want to show you guys a trailer, if that's okay, Graham. Yeah, go for um, it, sure. Of his game of called <laughs> Super <laughs> Space Club. Um, mm -hmm. And Graham, you, did the, you, you developed this game mm -hmm. Solo Dolo. I mean, you've Mostly. had some help, right? Yeah, with yeah, the yeah. key art and stuff like that, but... And the, the music. The, the biggest help was the music, but otherwise, music. yeah, mostly, yep. more or less me. Yep. All right, so here we go, guys. It goes the chains, pilot wings, raising gloves, but it's never 
Listen, everybody, that was not just trailer music, no. okay? I got about eight hours into this game. Hey. It's music <laughs> like that all throughout it. Man, sick. Really good music. I sick. was jamming. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Like, I'm, 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 me and my wife, we call it a, a lo-fi, simplistic, beautiful game. Like, it's, yeah. That's that is if I could title it that that's that's what it would be. It's it's so fucking good. But Graham, um, welcome to the Longhouse Gaming Podcast. Um, and Thanks thank for, having you for me. Uh, accepting to be on for an interview um, about this. I, listen, I'm I'm just totally impressed by your story, um, how you got into game development. But a lot of people here don't. See, I I, I stalk people. Right, Graham. So like, that's crazy to say. Let's start with that. I, just right. stop typing. <laughs> I, type, I type in the name, and I, I, I try to get to know you as much as I can before, yeah, yeah. before you come <laughs> on. But for all the people that don't know, um, tell the people like a, a little bit about yourself and, and about the game to start off with. Of course, yeah. So, well, go on. My name is Graham Reed, also known as Graham of Legend. I'm a Jamaican, born and raised, um, in the game developer, solo developer, currently based in New York, not Jamaica, sadly. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is my game, Super Space Club. It's like a, a chill yet hectic, lo-fi, hip-hop, vibes-filled arcade space shooter. That's, that's my quick yet chaotic pitch for it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've been I'm working on it for on and off for like four years-ish now. Okay. It's it's been a journey. It's been a journey. But I'm I'm sure we will talk about it. But it's, it's been a it's been a long one. But it's it's only it only took like eight months of actual development time to make fun fact. Because you know life. Crazy. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, what? You're 33 years old. Mm -hmm. Did you go to school for for game development? I went to school for motion graphics. Which, if you don't know what that is, that's just like like everybody who watches Twitch should know what motion graphics is at this point. It's just a graphic design in motion, basically. Any type of sequence, all the little lower thirds, your whole package of how the show is presented, like that's all like, part of motion graphics. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just kind of, I've always loved video games since I was, I want to say like four, I got a Super Nintendo with Metroid and couldn't even beat the first level. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. stuff's but, hard, but, man. I, mean, I don't think anybody did. <laughs> yeah. it, was it, was, it, was, it was tough, but... From then, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm into this, this kind of video game stuff. And I just haven't stopped since then. Um, and yeah, I just somehow just transitioned into making games one day. I mean, with, with the help of like friends from Jamaica, realizing that, you know, you can make mobile games. I think mobile games is really what made it accessible for a lot of people. Just, just having an iPhone, having an Android, whatever. Yeah. And yeah, then fast forward. Fit twelve years, I'm here. <laughs> That's cool. Man. What what yeah. engine did you use for this particular game? For this, I use Unity. Unity, okay. nice. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> That's so good. If I could just hijack and ask one thing, yeah. like this is um this this is super cool. This reminds me of like a hip hop super stardust have you did you grab any inspiration yeah. from super stardust yeah host mark is one of my favorite developers like easy. nice okay because you could yeah, you yeah. could see it bleed through here it's it's super fun uh the style is amazing and the hip-hop beat on top of it is just such a fun spin so thank you uh <laughs> awesome awesome stuff man 
Yeah, but... it was like Super Stardust, it was Lufthrozos, obviously Astro is like Star Fox was from the characters and just the whole personality of it. Like those are my inspirations for it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh Flush Jackson. Look at that. Flush Jackson said, Where where can I get it? I said Steam and Xbox. He said, Boom. Just snagged it on Steam. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, this, this I'm 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 that buying flash. this right now. I'm a super fan of of Stardust as well. This this intrigues me very well, uh, very much. Yeah. Um, awesome. Yeah. Give uh, scale. What are you, what were your thoughts whenever you first booted up and and started playing um, this game? When I first booted it up, it gave me. I just didn't know what to expect from it at all. So when I first booted up, I saw it was the. I liked the simplistic. It had like the music at first on the intro, just like little like beeps, you know, boobs kind of thing. It's simple. It doesn't really grasp you yet. And then you boot it up and you get into the level, and that music starts playing. When I say I couldn't even focus at first, because I was like, <laughs> I was like, have I heard this song before? I was like, is yes. this a Billboard song? I was like, I've yes. never, this is, I was like, just from the start screen to here is like, whoa, it's like, I was, I had to sit back. I was like, this is just good tunes. And then I, then I started playing and I'm like, okay, this, this, this is actually kind of challenging. So now the tunes are soothing yep. me. <laughs> it's yes. like, that's, now yeah. that's exactly, you nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> that's, and that's what it, that's what it gave me. So that's kind of my, yeah. my initial thought on the first boot up is the music just, the music, I'm just a big, congrats to you, man, on, on the music selection and the choices. I was really one to play you know, more, fat, just to hear more part, music. They, they crushed it. Like, it, it was my, initially my direction to be like, so even visually visually and sonically, I didn't want it to just be, you know, your average space shoes. I didn't want it to just feel like, you know, the stereotypical deep, dark, moody space. I don't want that with like yeah. a, yeah, not sci-fi, not like a techno vibe or house dubstep, whatever. I want to feel like my own thing and just feel different and chill. You know? yeah. <laughs> like think about Guardians of the Galaxy, that very first scene with Peter Quill, he's up on whatever planet he was on. And then it's like, he's playing 80s music or 70s music, right. yeah. but he's there just yeah. going around Classic like, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's what I thought it? about. How did you mix this stuff? What do you mean? Is it like, it, this, 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 did you mix this stuff? Did you like create that music? Like it has to be a remix of some sort, or is this like? Oh no, no, no. So, so Fat Bird is the they're the ones who created the music okay, um, from okay, scratch. Okay. I, I just I just told them like what what I wanted to feel like, and they went in. Wow, <laughs> I was like hip hop, crazy like, reggae vibes, like chill, you know, just but make it feel like your own, like jazz in put some jazz influence into it. And yeah, so they took nice. it and ran with it, and then they were the ones who were like, "Yo, what if you add vocals to it?" Ah, and I was like, yes. Bet. I have yeah. I have some people <laughs> nice. put in for this. A friend, I have a, a, a reggae artist um, who's a friend in Jamaica. I have a friend from college who he's um, on one of the tracks. He's a hip hop artist. And then they just put up a call and yeah, people showed up and it's sick. <laughs> I definitely Incredible. want the OST, man. I'm not yeah. even joking. So, it's need... on Spotify. It's on Spotify and Bandcamp if, if you want to support. Definitely. Yeah. If this came out back in the day with CDs and stuff, I would definitely right, want yes. this as a CD to put in my car. Yes. So, I love yeah, the music. Man. was really well done, for sure. It's, you it's guys did great, great, man. Um, you know, they're, uh, they're goats, for sure. Let me, let, me, let me talk to you a little bit about I, I want to know your influence on on some of the game design because, first of all, we we hit the music. That shit is listen. It's cl Graham. Good job <laughs> on the music selection. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> straight up. Um, because like, even like whenever you like change level or like when your energy is depleted, right? It goes oh. like, or whatever, right? And slows down a little bit. Yeah, and I was like, oh, he's chopping and screwing it. All, all <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, come on, though. You, you have to bring the coach in. And then he's in the million with the slowdown. I was like, ooh, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah, it's so cool. So <laughs> let me tell you how far I am. I have three characters unlocked, four <laughs> of the weapons, and two of the ships. You've been playing. <laughs> yes. And then, like, my kids like to watch it. And for some reason, like, my kids are eight, right? And they'll just be watching me playing, like, in a trance. And the music's that lo-fi. Nice. So they're not even talking. I'm like, what is <laughs> happening over here? But, no, it's – I'm so surprised at the game. But, like, some of the systems you haven't played, like, you know, whenever you're – each character has its own special, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. To where uh, – what's, what's the antelope's name? Can can zip, 
you know, like uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Sasha. So, yeah, yeah, Sasha. Yeah. And then the, yeah, can the chameleon can can slow stuff down, and that effect mm-hmm. is like super clean. So cool. Yeah. Um, and that then, came from. Did you see the um, the cyberpunk anime? Yes, oh, I oh, heard it was really good. Though. Yes, oh, wow. Yes. It's a Sunday this time. That that heavy. Like wow. I watched, I'm like, yo, I need this. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah. had to slow That's down, awesome. and I had like a, a effect, but it wasn't. It didn't feel right, and I saw the Sunday this time, and like the different multicolored clone images i'm like yes this is it that's that's done deal (laughs) that was a super nice touch but like whenever like first it got me it it took a minute to get used to the controls Mm -hmm. and the system right because like when you're shooting as you can see your energy goes down that's also like Mm -hmm. your life bar right but it goes back up when you stop shooting for a certain period of time and then whenever you're shooting it propels you backwards like if you're not like on the thrusters like so when it came to that level of complexity, where did you, uh, what, what inspired you, I guess, to to put those kind of systems in place? Um, so the energy one, that one has been developing in my head from like 2014. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I, like I've had this this idea for a game in multiple. Like I had a mobile idea for this. I had like a different. A much simpler version of this without any of the bells and whistles, just pure, you know, just energy and shooting. Um, and somehow over the time, it just evolved into this. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted something that felt different. Like, I'm a firm believer in the design or in designing games that everything has a purpose. Mm-hmm. And like, there shouldn't be a shoot button, for example, if there's no consequence for not shooting or, or for shooting too much. Like, if you just hold it okay. down. You have to either, you know, deplete your energy or deplete ammo or that's a bit some kind of reload, you know, something like that. And right. so that's some so that just kinda of led me to this, like where what if I just combine everything? So your life and your ammo is just one big bar. And right. it that, it just kinda of works. <laughs> that's oh, super fascinating. Yeah, that's super fascinating. This I I'm I'm seeing this for the first time, so like this is this is awesome. It it almost reminds me of like it's genius because it reminds me of that thrill that I get uh, from. This is a weird comparison, but Doom, like Doom, or you're yeah, always yeah. on, you're always on a roll, and you're always like, your life is always down. You got to make quick decisions. Yeah, like this true. reminds me of that. It's a very clever. It's praise. a very clever thing <laughs> there. Yeah, very awesome. Thank you. Bro, do not Thank let you. these visuals fool you. It is a challenging <laughs> game. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Looks like it. And it that's looks why like they're always dying like, on the edge. It's hard. <laughs> it Graham, be real. Like I know this is your own game, but what's the highest wave you've ever gotten to? The highest I've gotten to is wave twelve. Okay. All right. That's a scene. Feel... I saw someone get to fifteen, and I was like, "All right, I need to step up." <laughs> <laughs> but it's endless, though, right? Yeah, it, theoretically, you can just go until you until you die and it, it gets harder and harder like i i don't, I don't think there's a I, I should test it but i there's no real limit as to how hard it gets it just keeps going <laughs> yeah. damn so you're talking imagine. like like civ civilization five uh what's, mm. what was his name that was super hard uh gandhi <laughs> yeah oh my, oh my god gandhi. <laughs> oh, delete man. that game please but no um so i like to talk about like not only like the game development portion of it graham Mm -hmm. but also like you're you're a person of color we know that there's not very many of us um within the gaming community not gaming community but in the development space i mean there i feel like there are you just don't see us as much not not yet not yet yeah, because yeah, every like picture I see of a studio, no, you can't look like at a bunch of games, like guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not even like, and if yeah, oh, don't get me started. <laughs> even it's like, oh yeah, it's so diverse. It's like a bunch of white guys and a bunch of white women. It's like, yeah, all, yeah. all I straight. Came on this podcast all... today, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 I just sat out. Get out. <laughs> 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 come back, come yeah. back. Yeah. No, you're our you're our sweet baby ink uh uh hire here, Gamble. <laughs> yeah, Thanks ink guys. Oh, no. Thanks. Thanks for inclusion. 
Just kidding. That shit's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, nice. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. But no, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I saw one of your videos, and I, and I think it's important because there's probably a lot of people in, in chat. Not only do they love playing video games, but they have no idea where to start if they want to make their own video game um, or what it takes. Right. So I watched one of your videos of like your first year of development and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, f- we'll start with the first question. Um, like what got you into like your very first initials? Like I'm going to make my own game. Like w- what what sparked that? Let's say like a year or two before you actually started. Um, it wasn't even <laughs> there's no year or two before it was just. Back in back in college, me and some friends. Well, one friend he was also from Jamaica. This guy named Roberts. He okay. he was in the game design major at the time, and he was like, "Yo, you want to do a global game jam, which is just like a three day, which was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday weekend thing, and just make a game." And I was like, "Yeah, that that sounds dope, but why not?" And at, at that point, I didn't know how to code really. I coded in high school, but I was about it. Um, and then we hit up another friend, this guy named Audley, back in Jamaica. And he did all the code for it. And so he made our first, like, a little Android game, like a prototype. And then it was like, oh, wait, we can we can make games. This is kind of sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we, don't, we don't have to play anymore. We can actually make stuff. It's, it's accessible now. Mm. Like, it's it legit. And it was in, ironically, it was in an engine called Corona. <laughs> which is like, at, oh, for, no. yeah, first it was like, oh, no. yeah. yeah. You, you started then the joke it, was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but then the joke was like, oh, yeah, it's like the bear. But now it's like, nope, it's like the virus. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, and so we made it in that. And then we decided, yo, let's actually try and make it, um, sell it on the, the Google Play Store. And back then, this was 2012. So there was no, like, I didn't know what the biggest game was back then. Maybe like Angry Birds or something. There was no huge in-app purchases, none of that stuff. So actually selling a game for like, I think it sold it for, sold it for two ninety nine maybe I think okay. or one ninety nine I don't remember. It, it was more than a dollar, but people bought it. Like it was actually it did well for us, and that's unfathomable to think about now for mobile. But anyway, so that, that's how I got my start. Um, but I was just doing like the design the visuals of it, and then we we discovered Unity, and then that was it. Like just jump on jumping onto YouTube every day, looking up how to. How to make pong? <laughs> <And then Okay. laughs> made pong, nice. and then from from that it led into my first like it's my first solar release, which is kind of like a spin on pong where you actually shoot the shoot the ball, and it, it, it's a fun little game called Hectic Cube, okay. and then yeah, just kept going from there. I mean, there's a a big gap between that game and this because I had a full time job, and yeah, it's, it's hard to do both. <laughs> yes. I really like to the both. People do it all the time, but it's not. It is. It involves a lot of burnout, which you know, not great. <laughs> yeah, you get you'll get home and want to eat, and then like it's like, oh, I gotta get on this computer. And get, <laughs> yeah, get I mean, it, it at, for for a long time it was fine because I love it. Like I, I can't imagine myself doing anything else now. Like I just love making games. But then also I was what like twenty when I started Super Space about twenty eight or something like that okay no kids and i had a good job so it was like oh this is this is fine i'll, I'll come and work late sleep in go to work repeat <laughs> yeah. yes yeah uh, that's cool man and then, my wife uh, is a nurse so she works 12 hour shifts and so oh, yeah <laughs> at time that's great you, you stay in the <laughs> yeah. city of new york or, or 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 out i used to but no i, I moved up into the suburbs like one, once you have children it's over you can't <laughs> there's yeah, no space in the city, city. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, there's no space. Yeah. yeah no that's that's crazy and then my second question on top mm-hmm. of that was um Damn it, Graham! You made me lose it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guest. <laughs> uh, and I should have, I should have written it down as it came to me. Um, oh yeah, what it takes to to like, what were some of the struggles with developing this game? Um, and, and some of the uh, enjoyment. Oh, that there's so many struggles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's very easy to start making a game, like ridiculously easy and everybody in chat can go on youtube right now go download unity or download godot download whatever and just find a tutorial and make a game like right now it's really easy to actually finish a game 
and to finish like a commercial game is extremely hard. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're trying to actually be, if you didn't get a hobby, then you know, if you make something, put it out, it sucks. It's whatever, you're not, you're not trying to make money off of it, you know, so it's not, you learn from it and it's good. Right. But if you're trying to do it commercially, trying to actually make this your business, then it's like, it's not, then it's no longer just about making a mm -hmm. game. It's about the marketing, it's about like the timing, the plan, all that stuff. Right. And it's hard. <laughs> it's really, it's really I hard. Can, I can it's fun though. I enjoy it. Like with you not really having a team, right? Your team is your family, right? Like they, they're the ones that yeah. support you. Um, you know, Yo, even with a team of like Rockstar, it's still, it's still <laughs> I feel like the more people you add is the harder it becomes because it's like the bigger <laughs> the expectations, the bigger, the bigger you can get. And so the bigger you do get. And mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> But like not having a because you you published on your own, yeah. Or do, yeah. Or do you have, yeah like so? How difficult was that? Like getting it on Steam, getting it on Xbox. Like Steam is really easy. Like the Steam is not a problem at all. Um, I'm trying to think of the hardest part about Steam. This is yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it used to be harder just because. Back in 2016, 17, you had to go through like Steam green lights, which I think was like a, 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 a audience voted thing. Like people had to vote your game to actually be on Steam. Dang. Okay. Oh, wow. But then eventually one day they just went the route of um, of like mobile where you, you pay $100, I think it is, per game. Mm -hmm. And then you, like once the game goes on sale, you even get that back, I think. Don't call me on that. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, you just, you just pay and then you have a game on Steam. And so that's why it went from like thousands, like ten, a few thousand games a year to now it's like tens of thousands of games every year on Steam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Xbox was hard. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the. That's a hard, whole hard. different. It's a whole different thing. Yeah. Because it's like. So with Steam, it's an open platform. So you can just Google any, any issues you have. How to do achievement achievements? I thought were going to be so hard for Steam, and then I, I Google it, put it in, and then it worked within five minutes. And I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> that, that was it. For Xbox, it's a close thing, and so you can't even you have to be a, an official Xbox developer. And same for PlayStation and Nintendo, so you can't see any of their they have their own section of the Unity forums where you can only access if you have like an account. Um, and then you you might have to email a bunch of people to get help, figure out what's not working. Or you can even can pay mm -hmm. like a porting house to do it for you, which is like a cool twenty grand, which I don't have. So <laughs> Oh my god, wow. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, porting isn't Yikes. isn't cheap. <laughs> I mean you, you could you could find one person who like like if someone came to me and said, Hey, can you port this for me? At this point, that's I've done it. I, if it's a small game like the size of Super School, I could figure it out. I wouldn't charge them twenty grand. But it's still like it's not it's not like a thing you can just do in a day. It's, it's a whole process. It takes a lot a lot longer. Like like if you if you notice when a game comes out on Steam and it has like updates, the updates will come out immediately. And then it's right. like, oh, the Xbox patch coming soon or the PlayStation patch coming like next week. Yeah. Because that all has to go through in a whole approval process, you know, it's like it's right. just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot you of work. Yeah, and, and there's they, those people that are approving those those patches or the approval process is, you know, there's hundreds of games getting patched every day. Yeah. Well, so, so thankfully, on on console, it's not as bad. Like, it's when when the game came out on Xbox, it was I think four or five games came out that week on Xbox, which is great. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas on Steam, four or five came out that hour. <laughs> that hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's it's very, very different. But yeah, it's it's I looking back at it now that I've done it, it, it feels good. Kind of like, oh I I know I can do this now, but it definitely wasn't an easy thing to do. No man, shout out to you and good for you. It's a great story. Awesome Thank stuff, you. man. And it, it looks really incredible. And I hope that you're getting the visibility that it, it deserves or trying at least. Yeah, it's, 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 doing, it's doing decently. Um, I feel like because I took so long to actually put it out, financially it's not like making back everything. But like in terms of just being here, talking to, to, you, to you guys and having people seeing it, like <laughs> one of my proudest moments is like, oh yeah, Sarah Bonsight and then tweeted at me like, yeah. What? That's crazy. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's crazy, man. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, isn't yeah. she amazing? That's awesome. That's it's awesome. like one of us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like visibility-wise, I feel like I have momentum now to make something new and make something even cooler than this. And this is what I make next with my first game that I actually get to start without having a full-time job and actually to make a plan of how to make it, you know, from start to finish. That's, that's another hard part of making this whole game. I never really started with a plan. I just wanted to make something cool. And then after a while, it's like, oh, it's like, I can't need a plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah it's, it's hard oh. to figure that out halfway through, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's been a journey for sure. What? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm kind of uh, overtaking this. Well, did any of you guys have any questions? Sorry, I was being polite. I was I was leaving it to you guys. Um, oh my god! Like, okay, so how? Obviously, you wanted you need the visibility, and we always think about the the Game Pass, you know, kind of thing with Xbox. You know, that's always a topic of of discussion. Did you uh, try to reach out or maybe try to get some information on a, a Game Pass kind of thing? And how's that process? What do you think about that process? How's that? Um, everybody wants to get on Game Pass, <laughs> so it's not okay, even like okay. I feel like it's more of like a at this point, especially it's more of like a I think once they cream of the crop, it's just more what fits their catalog kind of thing and also when because even if cause I, I don't have a game pass deal now as as far as i know no one's talking about this internally <laughs> but okay. even if they're like oh yeah we'd love to have this for game pass i don't know anything official i'm just assuming this is how it works because this is what i've heard from other people but it's like they have their and even even if you look at leaks like whatever leaks have happened in the past it's like mm-hmm. They've planned shit out from now until like 2025, 2026. Right. So even if I did get a deal, it wouldn't be for now. <laughs> you know? Oh, like that yeah, deal would have had to be made like three years ago. So, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's, a, it's a time process. It's, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like I can, they can say, oh, yeah. Like, unless I had like a, a Baldur's Gate or a Hades or something. Then they're like, oh, yeah, we'll make space. <laughs> you know? right. But for something that's that's unproven, it would have to be like, a, like they, they, they'd have to believe in it enough and then give it, like, find the perfect little slot for it to come out. Mm. It definitely yeah. seems like that's Game cool. Pass has very strict windows. I could definitely yeah. see that. Yeah, yeah, and everybody's fighting for that Game Pass bag too. <laughs> Game Pass, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like for real. Like if I know that, if uh, me as a developer, if I know especially as a solo developer, definitely. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Like you'd be able to make some and then some. You know what I mean? Like not only did yeah. you pay for my development costs, but I mean now I'm eating okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like oh, I get I get to I get to actually chill, take out take time off. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's interesting you say that because it, it, i guess i guess there's different like price brackets like there's different uh levels you know like for some people they they really uh have a pause about putting well we've heard or whatever that they have pause like the bigger 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 budget games have a pause to put it on game pass because they're afraid of like losing some things here or there but i i i would guess or i've been guessing that there's a really there's a sweet spot for like developers uh yeah. different price ranges and i guess uh, for you it would totally work um or it seems like it yeah for that sure bag would be worth it. <laughs> yeah like like if, if you if you have a game that's going to sell i don't know like millions and millions of, and millions of dollars right the game pass deal i feel like they un, un, unless it's already out they wouldn't offer you that much money relatively mm-hmm. but then so so even like a again like a baller's gate like i feel like they kind of dodge a bullet by not getting on game pass you know yeah because yeah. now it's like they're just making money like stupid money. Bank on it. yeah <laughs> at one point bank. it's like not worth it right yeah right exactly but then for someone like me it's like even if this did suck like did um, super successfully i don't think it would have gotten to a part where Game Pass wouldn't have been worth it, you know. I don't think it would have been that successful. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Gotcha. What would you say, Scale? You got anything? Um, you can be, you can feel free to decline this. Do you have any future plans for this game? Any kind of updates we can foresee or anything like that? 
Not that, maybe. <laughs> it's just like, I have ideas. There's a lot of ideas I have written down that I didn't actually put into the game. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's, it's more of a thing where it's like, I just really want to make something new. Mm. And I, I feel like every day I have new ideas, new cool things I want to make based on things I've always wanted to make, just based on the trends that are coming out, just seeing some cool arts and being inspired to make something dope from that, watching them. You know, like inspiration comes from everywhere. Mm. But then it's like, I do want to support this city because I love this as a game. Yeah. But I, I feel like it's, it's more of the the people who, it, it, it is more supporting it for the new people who haven't played it yet because I've I've found that once people get into it, they'll play for like anywhere from like an hour and they're like, all right, it's cool. And they'll pick it up here and there. Or they'll be like, like Black and us go in for eight hours straight. <laughs> but then once they're done, they some people come back for the music. It's like, it's a chill thing. But for the most part, people haven't really been sitting and investing time and time, you know? So I my worry is that I'd spend a lot of time putting new content into it and then it not really pay off. It pay off for some people, you know? But like, I wanted it for the the masses. I'd rather just make something new at this point. Yeah. Love to hear it. I love Brand new this IPs. Is, this is yeah. the perfect. So, so I got the code for, for Xbox, right? But I need to actually purchase one for Steam to help support, right? And plus this will, this game is will be, I was thinking the whole time I was just, I was laying on my couch chilling. This game Let's play is it on Steam Deck. Per, well, <laughs> yeah. not my, my Rog Ally. But yes, on well, Steam Deck. Same thing. Steam yeah, Deck same thing. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but perfect. Like, yeah. the, 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 the music, I can just see my, like even just, like you, you mentioned, like some people pay, play it for an hour, some people play it for um, you know, eight hours like myself, right? But this hits that sweet spot to where, like, sometimes I don't boot up a game like on my Rock Ally because I know I don't have the forty minutes to invest to get into a good yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. This shit would be perfect because yeah, I, I made that up. with I made this with that in mind for sure. Like you, yeah. you, you can sit and play for as long as you want to play, or just like oh, I'll do like one run, maybe two runs. I run. Yeah. If you're good, I run last like ten minutes, not even that long, you know. <laughs> right. If you're good, so you can keep yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure, man. And then like the missions that you have on there keep mm -hmm. me super engaged. Like, right. All yeah. right, I gotta yeah. use this ship. I gotta use uh, you know, this uh this power. It took me forever ship. to destroy one of the ships with the asteroid. I was like, I can't time it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that'd be easy, but it turns out it's not <laughs> it's not that easy. But I like that. I like that challenge for sure. So I have it's a skill. That's one of the earliest things I, I put into the game. Like Having, I don't remember how it even came up, but it was an accident. It was, I think I had the asteroid blowing up, mm -hmm. and then all the things blew up at the same time, and it looked like it, like the asteroid blew up something. I'm like, oh, that needs to be a feature. That's cool. <laughs> and so I just kind of added a collide, and then boom, it was done. And then fast forward to the missions, it just seemed something cool to like you actually fly through some asteroids and just time it right. And it didn't seem hard to, but obviously I've been playing for so long now. Yeah. <laughs> I like but it. Because you're having thumbs. thumbs. <laughs> you're like, we're like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. It's cool. I haven't encountered any, like, you know, I haven't encountered any bugs. Uh, Lucius Augustus Thank had God. a question <laughs> and said, um, I'm going to pick up your game, but I wanted to ask, why isn't the game play anywhere? And that's like an Xbox uh, thing. Is that a publisher decision? And I would love to play this. That's a me Xbox. not knowing how to make it play anywhere decision. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, because it's, it's on Steam, right? Like, yeah. so for me to make it play anywhere, I'd have to, and Cloud Saves also work. I made sure to make sure that's like a must have. But yeah. then to play anywhere, it'd have to be on like the PC, but through the Windows Store, which I could figure that out. I'd need to. Like it's it, like again, I can't just Google it. I have to go and email a bunch of people, check the forums, <laughs> and make a whole new build that's not Steam, um, and that might even use some different API. It's a whole it's a whole process. Oh. And then also cloud maybe because does play anywhere also include does it have to include cloud? Like I don't know if every play anywhere game has that too. I'm not sure. That's that's a good I'm question. Sure. I'm not that sure. That's a good question. Yeah, I don't I'm know. Sure. And like mobile, I I would personally like if I if it was a button. 
easy day one it would have been there you know <laughs> like, yeah. imagine picking this up on your phone and playing through the cloud just in bed, in bed. That, that's the, so the dream cool. <laughs> yeah but do you it's have any plans do you have any plans to expand it anywhere else like what is it out for right now the platforms it's just just steam and xbox um right. I, I would honestly the next one i would do is switch yeah. but i tried to get have kids and they're like nah <laughs> <laughs> really oh my god straight what? up denial <laughs> I, I, honestly I, I think it's more i think it's more of a thing where i apply it and then it they must have some like internal clock where if the if i don't get the response by a certain time you look it up it wasn't like a person that denied me it was like a auto uh, responder email yeah so i don't uh, think it was actually someone deciding not to give me a death kit. right yeah so now that it's out and all the bugs all the major bugs at least are hopefully not there <laughs> i love i mean yeah switch just Especially because I like the rug, I like this, the Steam Deck thing of the, just playing on the coach. I feel like the Switch should be the perfect place to have it, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Just to have it um, and chill. Or, you know, yeah. Switch to whatever whatever happens there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. Do you have um, some inside information there? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not, <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm playing right now. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all. Sorry, weapon, like, weapon X says at 30 frames per second or 60. You being a jerk, yo, yeah, that looks solid. Look at how fluid this is, <laughs> yeah. man. So As I want to say, I, I want to say it's 60. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, hope no it's way. 60. This is <laughs> on, on PC, it's, on PC, it's easy, it's unlocked, so it, 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 it just it just runs. Mm -hmm. Um, but on Xbox, I, I think it's 60. It should be, it should be 60. It, it is, <laughs> like, it's, it's, it runs yeah. super good. That's a yeah. fair question, though. Nowadays, it's hard to get. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a, a great game, and I'm glad that you had mobile in in mind, like for like the time, like um, like just pick up, play a couple rounds, put down. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I mean, I I love games like this. You know, like I play so many games, like not 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 space shooters or anything, but just games where you can like roguelikes, I guess, where you just pick it up. Play it for a little bit and put it on move on, yeah. and especially if it has progression, like you can unlock stuff. So it, it feels like you know, like so not like Spelunker or something where that's just always starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. Those are fun too, but I, I much prefer games like this where you just unlock stuff. And so why not make my own? That's so dope, bro. You had yeah. the initiative, the drive, the idea, and you said, I'm going to buckle up and just do it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I love it. So dude. good. Definitely. Thank you. Such a good Thank attitude. You. If I could ask one more question, favorite genre Ooh. and what genre would you kind of want to go in if you had like a team or, you know, whatever? What, what genre would you try to go into? That's What's your favorite? Great question. Favorite. So I mean, I feel like it wouldn't be the same answer. Like favorite genre versus what would I want to make might be something. Might be two different things. Um, maybe <laughs> because like my favorite genre probably at this point in life would be. I don't know. I'm playing. I'm playing through Tears of the Kingdom finally now, and that's still like Hell just yeah. the best. It's such Hell a good yeah, game. Baby. Such a good game. <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> like I love. Yeah, I love these big open world games where you can explore and just physics you know like <laughs> it's so good definitely um but for me if i was to make something i'd probably maybe it's not that hard i'd probably want to make something like the old school that was like a link to the past because that's still my oh. like top two game of all time yeah. like yeah i don't want to make something like in that vein but um a lot more modern i guess they like, just have some modern sensibilities to it Mm -hmm. yeah. cool stuff yeah and Sapo asked uh, knowing what you know now versus what you knew when you started is there anything you would have done different if you were to start all over again it's hard to say it's really hard to say because I, I feel like I wouldn't be where I'm like literally right now if I did anything differently you know um, it, yeah I, I have no idea because it, it could have been a thing where like there's so much I wish I did in some days back when mobile was easier to be profitable on. Mm -hmm. But then who knows? I, I might have done that and then actually been, been successful for a point in time, changed the whole trajectory of my career, and then flops. And then I'm like, oh, I guess I'm done again, Dev, now. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so it's, like, it's, 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 hard to, it's hard to say. But that being said, knowing what I know now is like I can definitely 
see, I can have more foresight as to what I want to do with my business. You know, it's not just about making something cool, but it's actually about being strategic, strategic with what you make, um, listening to the audience, like all all that stuff. So it's, it's it's less about changing the past and more about influencing my future. Boy, some stuff, man. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. Yeah, like, like like I said, I can't imagine doing anything else. Like I love this so much. It's just just hearing people enjoy something you create. I mean, same same for you guys. Like like when I'm sure you hear people talk about how much I love hearing you discuss games and everything. It's like the same same never, kind of bro, like this. Never. They're like, you're never shit. Calling us Xbox and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But uh <laughs> No, we get uh, so I, get, I get what you mean. Yeah. Uh, I didn't uh, own yeah. Xbox. Why am I here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh on on that note though, like on the similar <laughs> note there is there one? Is there one not about the Xbox thing? <laughs> forget I was about to say one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, forget about that stuff. But the inspiration part. If if what what do you say about like inspired kind of game devs that aren't that haven't kind of made their first game yet? What what do you say to those guys? How, any advice? If you have any interest at all, and even just playing around with making game, just go for it. Go on YouTube. And just type in how to make a game, <laughs> how to make a game in Unity, how to make a game in Godot, Unreal, whatever. Like, let's pick something. Like with with some of these engines, you you don't even need to know how to code. Like it's not hard to learn, but some of them is just like they have interfaces where you just draw lines from point A to point B. If this, then jump. You know, and it's like make a game. Dang, that's crazy. And like I said, it's it's extremely easy to start, but. The, like one, once you do a game jam or two and it's like oh this is kind of cool then it gets very hard to actually complete something mm-hmm. so but you got really hard still try it anyway yeah. yeah it's a hard commit to it but also you have to kind of you have to understand how to scope properly like you can't just go in the the the, the, the overused thing now is like you can't just go in trying to make an MMO for for your very first game. Like yeah. you can't just go making your magnum opus for your very first thing. Like you have to actually just start small. Mm-hmm. That's so cool, man. You can do it though. Like any and literally anybody. Like there are four year olds out there making games now. It, I mean, I'm, I'm serious. Like even if you think about like Roblox or Fortnite, I guess. They're making games within those platforms. So it's it's just that they have all of the the hard parts figured out, like about coding and whatever. But you still have to figure out game design. You have to figure out oh, what's what's going to be fun, what what like what flight mechanics, what weapons, ships, all that stuff. You still have to figure all that stuff right. out. And yeah, it's, it's really fun. Let's try it. So good, scale. You got anything? I think covered pretty much everything i had like i said man i just want to congratulate you again on actually doing <laughs> it and i will say the music man i told them literally when i first played it i was like y'all the music <laughs> is uh it makes it a must no, play I, for sure so it's, it's my favorite part like is it though of course the one part i did nothing with or not not nothing but the one part i didn't actually have the most influence over is like my favorite part it's just so good it's like it just is. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I got I got one last thing, Graham. Keep them coming, yeah. What was your favorite? The, well, I guess this is two part. What was your favorite thing in the game to design, design wise? Mm-hmm. And aside from the music, right? You had some some choice in the in the music, but design wise, what was your favorite thing? And are there any personal Easter eggs in the game? Yeah. A lot. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, so, so favorite thing to design was probably the colors. Just like finding a very good visual palette. Like I said, it's wanted to stand out. Um, and I spent a lot of time trying to find, like trying to find colors that are dope but also accessible. Like some of them still aren't accessible. It's, it's color theory is really hard. <laughs> yes. But. Yeah, I just wanted to make it look cool, but also something that's easy to look at for a long time and very readable. Um, and it's, it, you you think because it's like more simple, like it's just a bunch of geometric shapes, it's easier, but it's I feel like that makes it actually harder because you're working with a lot less, and so it has to be 
very precise. Like yeah. if I just threw a random ship from, I don't know, a Google like 3D ship model and put it in the game and that's how all the ships looked, it'd be a lot easier to forgive because oh, it's just a bunch of realistic ships, you know, but I don't know, I enjoy making something that looks very clean and intentional. Like every line you see there has a purpose, has intention to it. So that, that that's probably my favorite part. Um, and then for the Easter eggs, like, yeah, all over the place. <laughs> There's a lot of like Jamaican references. Like it was, it was funny to see, I have a friend who's a, a streamer and he was playing it and he caught a lot of them and he was just there laughing and like, <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> it, it's nice to see it. See Jamaicans actually play it and catch a lot of the references. Yeah. Is it are the so references cool. within like names or are they? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of it's within the text. Like for example, one of the ships is called. This is a very obvious one. One of the ships is called the Bolt, and it's the fastest ship in the game, with a world record <laughs> speed. And it's like you say, Bolt. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. 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 But then there's some deep cuts for like that are just meme references and people still catch it. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. awesome. freaking awesome, dude. Um, yeah. There's there, Graham. Before I let you let you go, or you can mm -hmm. you can stay with us. There's some breaking news that we have to discuss to for a few minutes. Um, breaking news. It's, it's ten o'clock. Yeah. It's <laughs> what <news>. broke? <laughs> But this is world, this is worldwide news, and we, we got to break it. But man, I'm I get I get so happy whenever I see one. I get happy for anybody who succeeds in their plan, but I get really happy when um, it's one of us doing. For it. sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really appreciate you coming on, sh hooking us up with some codes to play the game before we ha had you on. I'm definitely going to support the game by it on Steam so I can play it on my Rogue Ally. Um, big ups to you, man, for for not only starting something, but finishing that moment. Yeah. I, I love it. Congratulations. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, you made, you made a fan cool, in man. me as well. I'm, I'm hopping on this and buying some friends a code as well. So cool stuff. No, this is cool. I'm, I might okay. actually give a couple of them away. I might. <laughs> can, can, I, can, I, can I can I can I drop a can I drop a code in chat? Hell yeah, chat would love that. Boom, there's Somebody a code. It's there. Xbox. Hey. Get Xbox it. Code get it while it's hot. Chat. Get it while it's hot. <laughs> awesome. awesome. That's dope, stuff. man. Thank, Thank you. you for that. I appreciate it. Lucius Augusta said, "I just bought the game." Tell you missed the code. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you for the support. Thank you. Thank you for the support. No, I appreciate no, it. It's, it's like it's like you dropped uh, and available now on Game Pass. No. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be so great, man. But, no, I but, appreciate it. Uh, to your continued success, man. I'll keep in touch with you on on Twitter or on the socials and stuff, man, and see where you go with your your gaming journey, man. Um, dope. It's been mad. It's been mad dope. Uh, but as far as breaking news, oh, did y'all have any last words for Graham? Uh, congratulations, man. Period. Thank you. It's all good. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me to talk about it. Hell yeah! If no, we start stay on and talk all... shit about talk 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 some crap. Oh no! Yeah, I, I'm, stay, I'm done. I'm done. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm messy. You are messy, man. Yeah, I'm messy. Let me I'm see messy. if I can share this really quick. This is crazy. Hold on now. Breaking news, shocking news. Breaking. Uh, what does it look like on here? All right, cool. It looks all right. All right. Phil Spencer just Ooh. dropped a bomb. 8.15 p.m. Not too long ago. Um, thanks to the incredible work done by Blizzard Entertainment and NetEase to renew our commitment to players. We'll soon... Welcome back millions of community members in China to our Blizzard universes. Because uh, how long have when did when did China cut back on that ease? Like how long has it been? Like two years? Oh yeah, like near the like it's beginning like of the pandemic, right? Like oh, it's been longer than one. It's like one year or like four. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's always it's like the gap yeah. here. It's like crazy. Twenty twenty one, I believe. I, okay. I think. Yeah, so it's been, I mean, it's been a minute. Um, this is exciting for everyone at Xbox Blizzard and for players everywhere. Read more. So um, it, it kind of got Blizzard Entertainment tweeted pretty much the same thing. Um, thank you for your patience and support and all that. Whoa, China is back on the map. <laughs> 
for Blizzard Crazy. games, bro. Insane. Let me see something really quick. Oh, can I zoom in on? I always fuck this up. Gamsley. Oh, what you oh, think I was wrong. Thing? I think. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. So I think it was February. Let's see. February. Oh, I was off. Uh, twenty twenty three. Is does that make sense? Uh, take offline. Over a million of Chinese gamers requested refunds. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here. Oh, yeah. Right, over here. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, go ahead. I'll man. jump in here. Yeah. Uh, this look, Blizzard games are huge, and especially in that region. And we know that Xbox loves that region. They want to, you know, make goody goody with that region. It's it's a big place. It, there's a lot of good developers there. There's a lot of you know very. Uh, talented people there and and they you know a ton of players that played blizzard games for decades i mean that game yes. has a huge those games have huge lineage there so like uh, starcraft alone them. yeah uh, yeah starcraft <laughs> yeah. starcraft it was i mean starcraft is giant in those places man yeah. it's so huge. good especially um, Korea, bro. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> crazy stuff crazy yeah. stuff um so this is giant this is actually this is crazy news for this late <laughs> you know what i mean you think that they well, it's want not, it's not late in china yeah, yeah that, that makes, that oh, makes yeah, sense right. breaking, yeah. breaking that this time for a reason yeah yeah Checks exactly up. yeah it's it's yeah. awesome this is wonderful new news for a lot of players not just you know for xbox but for a lot of players and a lot of friends you know gathering together and playing games again so yeah. can you see the, can you see the picture oh yeah yeah Look at Phil. <laughs> Phil, Phil always. So happy Phil is like, always. yeah, we got, like, got him. <laughs> he always has the <laughs> Superman pose, you know? He, he does. Got China back, guys. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> that's, yeah, that's strong. Great, this is yeah. a strong move. That's, that's really awesome. cool. And that's the new president for Blizzard, isn't it? Um, what's her name? Uh, the Why not? Oh, man. It is. <laughs> the uh, black lady. <laughs> <laughs> what's, her, what's her name though? I don't want to just call her the black lady. Bro. Definitely, please don't. <laughs> <I know. laughs> please don't. Jo Joanna, Joanna Fairies. Yes. President I of believe, yeah. Entertainment. Nice. That's my last time doing that, Joanna. <laughs> I promise. Sorry. I don't want to call her. Yeah. She's watching. Call her She's right. watching. She's watching. Yeah, watch mean Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. She's like unsub. <laughs> <laughs> you lost oh, her and China. <laughs> and China. <laughs> Damn. I'm oh, sorry. God. I'm sorry, Jay. Um, yeah, but uh, now this is uh, super cool. I'll probably read the article. I'm sure I'll talk about it on Boom Show tomorrow, like for a fact. <laughs> but it's yeah, it's crazy, man. World of Warcraft, Starcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, mm -hmm. Hearthstone, all mm -hmm. coming back to them, bro. Like that's. That's fucking good. Man. Yeah, they're making this so interesting to me. Like, they can just take away games just like that, and boom, it's gone. <laughs> yes, crazy. It's Can't even crazy. release things over there unless you have like a, a specific partner. Mm. It's crazy. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you um, it. What? what <laughs> right. Do you th That's yeah. the partner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think? Do you think that a new StarCraft is on the horizon within the next two years, three years? Do you think oh, we're gonna get imagine. a StarCraft? Oh jeez. I don't think What's the so. last StarCraft we had? Was it like two, two? which was like two way back long in ago? Two thousand two or something. It's so long, yeah. StarCraft two, yeah, I'm pretty sure. StarCraft two and the DLC, yeah. Way back when. Yep, have, yep, yep. Have any of these other Blizzard games had like um twenty ten Star... guys? Yeah. Twenty ten. Uh, that recent? What? <laughs> 2010 is like freaking 14 years old. It's about time. It's, yeah, but I thought yeah. it was before that. So <laughs> that's until, a good. Uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Until I, we haven't seen any side of StarCraft um, like skins in other games, have we? Like no. for hype. Oh, yeah. So thanks until so. we see mm -hmm. that, well, I think when we start seeing that, we could be like, all right, they're trying to build hype back up oh my god can you imagine kerrigan for like diablo or, or for overwatch for overwatch yeah man hard. yeah, yeah. 
That would that'd be crazy. Like, if they start... Because their platform for that kind of stuff was kind of Heroes of the Storm, right? Yeah, Where they would, yeah. like, kind of feed skins into it. Mm -hmm. But, um, man, I, I, man, Diablo and Overwatch seem like easy pickings for that That's, stuff. Yeah, it seems easy, for sure. Overwatch, for sure, especially because the skins are $40. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I never played StarCraft, um... Oh man, get on that! What are you? Doing? What are you? I didn't have a PC to play. It, I'm out. I'm out. We didn't, didn't have it. Didn't Sorry, have buy games. Link. We weren't privileged <laughs> enough. <laughs> we were not privileged. We were console right. kids. That's right. Well, welcome guys. Now you can get you. some good games. You know what Thank I mean? <laughs> it's good to be here. It's good to be here. Uh, before awesome. I get your thoughts, Skellington and Graham, let me get a couple of these super chats. Rocket scientist with the five dollars Canadian says salute shades and visa scale, Bam Gam and Mister Fantastic. Bam Gam, <laughs> you're, you're Mister Fantastic, Graham. So I'm uh, late. I'm the lady. Boom. I'm <laughs> Susan. Is that who? Yeah. I'm Susan. Uh, hey, that's a cool power. Yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gaming golden age for real. Let's fucking go. Hashtag for the kids. Hashtag Hornley fans. Hornley fans. <laughs> Hashtag bring back Gamsley. Hashtag not a burner account. <laughs> Those are all fantastic fucking hashtags. It's definitely not my burner account. Definitely. Not <laughs> Can you read the bring back Gamsley part? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not your burner account. Gamsley, you got like seven burner accounts out here. <laughs> Go Gaming with the five. It says showing support to the stream. I'm excited to see new people on the show. The game looks cool. Gives me Geometry War vibes. Yeah, well, that's a good shout. Yeah, out. yeah, definitely. Just another inspiration. There's so many, you know? <laughs> yes. Geometry Wars is one of the most slept on games ever. So I, I can't have to go back and play it now. It's so good. <laughs> it is good. Yeah. And then we got our good brother, Flush Jackson. Oh, yeah. For the kids, always the dopest content creators, um, or con cre so dopest creator guest. Yeah. Yes. Um, damn. Man. I was like, what is this? You, you guys, you guys got like, like nope. 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 Take these shades off. <laughs> <laughs> Gamsley was right. He said, "Take turn the shades off." <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Jeez. Plus Jackson, thank you, brother. Thank you, Plus. A hundred percent. Um. Yeah, man, I'm never gonna have anybody on here that's that's boo boo, you know. <laughs> I don't even know why. Well, I'm I, on I, here. That's all you had. You had Paris on. He had. Yeah. You had Paris, and you have Khalif ready right now. Is he coming on? Khalif on um, Thursday. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I, I'm it. between these two guys. What? That's that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, they all they all Sick. seem like Paris is big, bro. Um, no, Paris is never, Paris is dope. Yeah, we, Khalif, we've never spoken before. Um, besides it's gonna like be a fun and stuff, but yeah, I fuck. Yeah. I, love, I watch his content to spawn on me, shit. No, bro. he's he's, he's great. Hilarious, <laughs> yeah. <bro>. yeah, he's <laughs> he's a homie too, for sure. Yeah, um, I gotta meet all these people in person, man. You gonna be at Pax West at all? No. Oh. <laughs> the only I haven't been to anything outside of I went to the Game Awards last year just just to be in LA and I was on um the Giant Bomb coach if you guys know what that is oh yeah 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 Giant Bomb yeah yeah, yeah. So, cool. so I was on there like that like, like the whole coach um like ten or live stream that they do yeah. um I thought I got to that's that's actually where I met Paris and Kali for the first time oh shit oh, in damn. person yeah it was, it was, yeah. It was sick. um. Yeah, man. But other than being at the Game Awards, I haven't been anywhere since before the pandemic, I think. I went to the last E3 and that was it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. How we was we how missed was... out on E3, man. Yeah. How was E3 in person? It was sick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like that one, I mean, I'm biased because it was my first one. I showed in Super Space Club. Like, that's so, <laughs> it was a different game back then. But like, yeah, it, it was really dope just being there with everybody just celebrating we didn't know a name was coming yet matter of fact that was yeah. oh. months before it even i didn't think it hit china yet, you know say so, or wherever it started you know so it's like yeah yeah it was it was good times it's a it 
say. I know, yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Rest I know, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. That tried Ever to be since like, but... me and Scale was kids, because yeah. if y'all know, we're brothers. Um, we always wanted to go to E3, man. And then... I know, yeah. Gone. Yeah. Here it is. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> now we got I, us, I like, mean, same. Like, honestly, invest. me and... Me and my, my best friend back home were like, yo, one of our dreams, I was with E3. And so I just just caught it. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah. And it's only because, I had, like, if I never had this game, that I wouldn't have, wouldn't have gotten to go, you know? Mm. That's nice. That's the only reason. The, the, the universe works, man. It does. In crazy ways, yeah. bro. It's nice. It doesn't work <laughs> like, for yo, me. Yo, get, get in now. <laughs> 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 oh man all right so on this topic again i'll get uh yeah scale you got any initial any thoughts on on this uh net new agreement with net ease i just think it's great man i think the people in china they probably put so much effort into these games so much time i can't imagine my hundred maybe thousand hours i put into a game just be gone man especially the starcraft and stuff that's been out forever so uh i'm I'm happy for them for sure it's good news big news that's that's actually really big news bro imagine world of warcraft oh right? god imagine. no Yo. god <laughs> world of warcraft all those like hundreds of characters with hundreds of achievements and moments and that i was paying and, for monthly oh well. my god all yeah, yeah. All gone, dude. All you know gone. if you're playing you're and you know if you're playing you're a fucking fiend, fiend. right yeah. so yeah. just cancel Yo, it off guys for real have you ever have you played wow and yeah. any of you yeah I, okay I, 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 way back know, in the day yeah oh, man, i said there's no. some there <laughs> There's some yeah, thank thank God. Uh it took my <laughs> life away. Um I lost all my hair. Anyways, uh but point is, um there's like legit achievements and titles in that game that you could literally sell those accounts for thousands of dollars. Like imagine these people just getting like world first, you know, raid boss, right? And then have yeah. it, having that taken away and all those memories gone. It's it's quite crazy. <laughs> I hope they can get their accounts back and it's just everything is okay. Because I would I be hope so too. Sick. Oh yeah. For sure. Oh man, that would be lovely though. Imagine Yo, if if if, if, if you good. if you can't, it's like is it even worth it? <laughs> like, nah, nah, probably yeah. not. Lose, like decades of your life, essentially. Right. I'd be mad. I'd probably throw up even booting that game back up. I'd be like, I can't. this is taken from me already. I'd be, have PTSD. <laughs> you can get That's to the back and it just like starts a new character, like new account. <laughs> and just right there. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uninstall, bro. Uh, uninstall. uninstall. What about you, Graham? What's your uh, thoughts on on this? I'm here looking it up. I'm trying to remember why they had a falling out to begin with. Um, Bobby Kodak. I, I would say as a what was that, Gamzee? Uh, Bobby Kodak uh, and them like oh, their relationship oh, started to of course. be frail because of the <laughs> yeah because he said something disrespectful during some sort of I don't know the sale was going on and he said something that they misinterpreted and then they clashed heads and they yeah. were like fuck Bobby and blew him up you know? <laughs> that's it. I mean so it was all makes that sense <laughs> shout out to standing um, strong they said you you we oh, you going you going to disrespect this okay yeah <laughs> okay. yeah they said fuck it they pulled down the statue man <laughs> they, they had a statue they destroyed it they ripped it apart oh my it's gosh great. um but as, as a consumer though like 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 you said those games over there are massive so for them to actually get get access back to them again, that's a big win, yeah. yeah and of course, it, it looks really good on Xbox, like under this whole new leadership. Um, and Blizzard is actually not on the coast again. It's like, oh yeah, cool. Uncle Phil's here to save the day again, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it just uh, shows. It goes to show like the goodwill that phil is really driving with different partners like it just whether it's japanese or this story it's like he, mm -hmm. he's going everywhere he's building good relationships people are loving it so like all this dread talk about xbox is really that's why it frustrates me because it, it seems like they're stronger than ever right yeah. yeah, when people were talking about bring back Don Matrick, I almost threw my phone. Oh, yeah. I was like, listen, who? All a this, lot of people. Bring back Love what? Like, yeah. All this talk about, yeah, say what you want about Phil, bro, but if it wasn't for Phil, 
And I'm sure there's a lot of people behind the scenes too. Or I know there's a lot of people behind the scenes too. Like Xbox will probably be dead. You know what I mean? Like after the the Don Magic mm-hmm. era. Mm. Um, yeah, Phil Phil on his big one, bro. Leave that man alone. Leave and then on. we got Queen Bond here too. Woo! Yeah. Power power team, man. Man, it's looking yeah, good. Boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Matt Booty up in the streets. Booty. <laughs> Spending people out of money. <laughs> <laughs> out of business. I didn't realize it's been it's been ten years since he's been like the face of Xbox, which is That's ten nuts. years. It's nuts, bro. <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. It's, it's been so ten good, years. Bro. And he's just uh, getting started, I feel, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes, a hundred percent, man. Um, let me get this super chat really quick. Spartan six six one with the twenty bomb. Hey. He says, "Great show, panel members, chat. It's a great cause for the kids. For all you guys that don't know, um, we working for free this year. So until December fifth, all our money from the merch store. And shout out to somebody who bought a crew neck yesterday. Uh, the merch store, super chats, donations." Um, super thanks, all the money we get from the views, everything. We're we're donating that in the form of game swag, Xboxes, um That's game dope. game pass uh awesome. subscriptions to our local boys and girls club. Uh I didn't know that. That's, that's really cool. There. So Dude. every dollar, yep. every cent. Do I get some uh, charity for some too? Reason, do I get you want, <laughs> you want some charity? You got to sign up for the Boys do and I... Girls Club, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, no. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. It's all yours. Yeah. That's, that's, that's your membership. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the, yeah, he says, the Longhouse Gaming Podcast is amazing. Like and subscribe. Thank you for that, brother. Uh, and enjoy gaming, everyone. That's all we want, yeah. baby. Everybody yeah. just enjoy fucking game. Let's try to put some of some of that console war shit. I like to make jokes. I love making those kind of jokes. Mm-hmm. But let's but we gamers first. You know what yeah. I mean? We like to yeah. talk games. Uh I like to talk shit sometimes. As long as it's funny, you know what I mean? <laughs> but but let's let's chill. Let's play these great games. Last year was a banger year for games. This year looks Strong. It's strong. <laughs> it's Crazy strong, strong already, man. It's strong. If you look, Yakuza, DD2, you got Rebirth. You got uh, we Super could, Space. You could put Rebirth on the side. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Prince yeah, of Persia. Yeah. Avowed, Indiana Jones, yeah, man, Stalker Crazy two, stuff. Stellar did, games. Did you guys talk about the the Star Wars? Um, the new Outlaws? trailer? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We have so that good. now, too. That's coming up. So good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what what did you think of it, uh, that, by the way? We we didn't get your opinion. You also need trailer. to blow the horn on that. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Spartan. Hold on. <laughs> blow the horn. Everything. After he blows his horn, you could answer that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. That's, that's why I said. Horn it's an fans. actual horn. That. Horny fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, horn hub. So uh, any donation over $20, I got to blow the fucking horn. So gotcha. Da da <laughs> 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 that was a good one black that was a good one hey, hey i've been on a fucking roll for like two weeks <laughs> it's been good it's been good you finally knew how to blow pause. that's right continue i, mm-hmm. I learned from somebody <laughs> oh <laughs> I was wondering why you squished me between you both. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't, Don't involve me. Weird. Don't involve me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, what did you think about the Star Wars trailer? What are you a big Star Wars? I'm fan? I'm I'm sold. I'm so super sold. Like I remember seeing awesome. the seeing the gameplay last year, I believe. Yeah. Um, and it just looked it looks sick. Like I love I love Ubisoft games, but I don't get to play them all, so I'm not, I'm not tired of it or anything. And it's just like, um, yeah, it, it just looks really, it looks really cool. And then seeing the, the story trailer today and seeing, it dropped today, I said, I've lost track of time, but I saw it today. today <laughs> and yeah, seeing yeah. it like, just having all of the references. So you see Jabba in there, you saw 
Um, you saw the the Han like frozen or melted, yeah, whatever it was. So like, good. All so of that, good. all those references. I'm like, oh, I never expected all of this to be in the game, you know. So yes, I'm I'm ready for that. Awesome. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, it looks like Watch Dogs but Star Wars, you know. Mm-hmm. Let's go. That's a good. That is know, good. I'm stealing that. That was, yeah, that's yeah. a good little Watch Dogs Star Wars. That's and I'll right. take yeah, that. Yeah, because like, I, I was going to say Assassin's Creed, but then it feels more like. Like a, like Watch Dogs too, you know that's one that's my favorite Ubi game. Yeah. Watch Dogs too is so good. The city I just of Watch like Dogs yeah. so alive, like it just is exactly. so alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I want to see some more. I want to see some skill. I hope it does well. I want to see uh, what I can do with my little companion. Um, yeah, I'm I just want to walk it. around and be in the the Star Wars universe finally. Like yeah. aside from yeah, the, man, I just I've been wanting. Yes, I want to be mm-hmm. in the universe for a long time. Yeah, they, I want to they, they keep they keep canceling Star Wars games. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, all, all the, the cool horror. sounding ones, right? Yeah. It's like the Mandalorian yeah. and the oh man, the Crazy. Mandalorian. That was that was that was sad. Sure. PlayStation said they don't want nothing to do with Kotor anymore, right? Yeah, I think it was something yeah. like that. Who, yeah. Who's that? No, don't tell me that. What's PlayStation? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> PlayStation, man. That's PlayStation right there. <laughs> oh man. That boy got Yo, all those the are controls. dope controllers. What's the one on bottom right? Oh yeah, it's cool. Is that, is that Sonic? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, it's oh, Kirby. Oh, oh Kirby. Okay. It's, it's someone just gave me that. Like, oh, it's actually pretty cool. Like, yeah. Way better than Sonic, thank yeah. God. You don't like the oh fur on the controller? Oh it warm you up. You know, you got hot. I can't hold head. it, Skeleton. You're right. I uh, can't hold it. That is fair. <laughs> the look. You don't like the look? Hate it. Hate it oh so much. Gosh, I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> no, it's a joke. I don't care. I First love this smell flush. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, we're getting out of control. All right, so I think that about wraps it up, guys. Unless anybody have like a final bar they want to want to get off or we Gucci. Did you do did you do go, the go Wii U 3DS Club. stuff? Did you do that? No, but we we've ran out of time. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no love, no love for Nintendo. None. Too much Sonic furry controller time. <laughs> Ran out of time. We had like two sixteen. Man, I try to get out of here at two. That two hour it's mark. Good, man. Um, that was a crazy maybe next cool time. interview. For sure. Yeah, man. Um, Graham, you're welcome on here anytime. If even if you just want to come up here and talk shit. Yo, I'm always down to talk shit. So whenever yeah. you guys want me, I'm here cool man i'm gonna hold you to that i was like hey we need you (laughs) (laughs) oh man so um i'll start with you gamsley uh tell these five folks and now i gotta put you in the description below like so i can put you (laughs) you don't have to you know yeah yeah, of course i do i always have to uh tell these five folks where they can uh where they can find you man yeah, so uh, if you want some like more Xbox dirty talk, <laughs> every Monday on Boom Show at lunchtime at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, and I finally have my own little thing going on with Game on Asa and Deadly Headly on Asa's channel, YouTube channel, which is Gaming Arcadia, um, for the Xbox Series podcast every Thursday, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, we're on our 11th episode. Uh, everything's going really well and uh, thank you for having me you guys are like our inspiration as well we think you guys do such a good job on this podcast that we're trying to replicate that energy uh so thank you for having me on oh, you hold on. did you there. really just blow yeah. smoke out of your ass with a straight face like that <laughs> <Gamble. laughs> I... <laughs> dog <laughs> So, oh uh, my yeah. gosh! Go okay. on, go on. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so find me there. <laughs> Xbox Series podcast every Thursday. You uh, on YouTube? Check us out there and Gamsley TKD on X. All right, cool man. Um, I actually stole y'all's Q and A stuff. I I saw it. Did you? Time. <laughs> yes. I was like, I was like, holy shit, bro! This is. J-. I was in the chat. I think then too. I think I asked a question. I was like, "This is fucking genius." I didn't even know yeah, YouTube. Yeah, Asa, had this Asa is really, thing. Asa does his thing well. He's he's really good at that. So yeah, I was like, "Yep, still in that shit." <laughs> I was like, "Adding it to our stream." All like, right, <laughs> yeah. All right, all Graham. Up. 
tell these fine folks, everybody, I got Graham's YouTube, and I have his Twitter account in the description below. Um, Graham, where else can they find you? Or what do you just want to tell the fine folks before we bounce? Yeah, you can, you can find me at Graham of Legend on anything important. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, go get Super Space Club. It's on Xbox. It's on Steam. Hopefully one day it's on other things. But if not, you know, just... Go to, oh, you can go to my site, subscribe to my newsletter so you can actually follow me and not have to worry about the algorithm and all that, that shit. And yeah, just look out for whatever I make next because it's going to be cooler than Super Space Globe somehow. <laughs> nice, bro. Like, I'm a, I'm a really for real keep up with you, man, because uh, same, I want to follow you on this on this journey that you're taking, Definitely. man. It's, it's super cool. I appreciate that. And, and everybody fucking buy Super Space Club. On either Steam or Xbox. It's buy even it. if you don't buy it, even if you don't buy it right now, go go wishlist it because all all that stuff helps. Yeah, guys. Okay, no, I'll do one better. All right, guys, look in my camera. If you don't buy it, I'll show up on every single fucking podcast. Look <laughs> 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 this, this fucking face. Every single one. Stare you down until you buy it. So go buy it. All right. Love you. Right. That was perfect, man. <laughs> All right, Scale, where can they find the, the super good streams? What's up? <laughs> yeah, the super good streams you can find on YouTube. Same name, Black Skeleton. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around 1 p.m. Central. Uh, catch me. I'm streaming all types of games. You know, when that Hellblade comes out, you can see it at 60, hopefully, on mine. If you don't want to. I don't know why I just took a dig at Hellblade <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That's the I don't know, but you can. But so yeah, you can catch me on there. You can catch me on X and all the socials. Thank y'all for coming out. Uh, all the chats, we appreciate all the super chats and donations. We appreciate that. All goes to our local boys and girls club. Thank you very much, Graham Gamsley. Appreciate y'all. If y'all don't do anything, please go check out the Space Club music. Facts. Facts. For real, <laughs> it's really facts, good. It's man. really good. Hell yeah. Um. Y'all know where to find me. I'm on Twitter. You know, being messy sometimes and being nice with a lot of times. On. You know, with glasses on. I'm always got glasses on. Um, and then, yeah, it's so on Thursday. We have Fame from Level One Gaming and Khalif um, coming on. Oh, it's gonna be. Listen, but we getting into the nitty gritty of some of this di shit. We we talking about it. Oh okay. God. <laughs> talking about Khalif be going extra hard on that shit. <laughs> we talking about it though. I'm si uh, simultaneously happy and jealous I'm not on that episode. <laughs> I'm, talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of talking about that, trust me. Like but at the same time, there's so much to rant, to rant about, you know? Yes. Jeez. Yes. <laughs> um, type it in the Q and A. <laughs> maybe I will. Maybe I will, yeah. Absolutely. And then uh, what else we got, man? I think that's it, man. But yeah, 100%. Y'all need to go check out Super Space Club. Delilah HD was popping, girl. What's up? What up? Um, she says she's catching the tail. But I know the show was dope. Thank you, Delilah. Thank you so much. Um, I think that's it for me, man. I think we can go ahead and close out. Everybody, thank you for the Super Chats. Um, you know, it all goes to the kids. They're going to be fucking happy as hell, bro, by the, the end of the year, man. For sure. Um, my kids that's really, I, I think that's, shit. that's really cool that you guys did that. Like, I love it. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then uh, make some kids happy. My kids going to be sad as shit, boy. They're going to be seeing all that merch. <laughs> They're going to be like, Daddy, where's ours? I'm like, shut up. Join the Boys and Girls Club if you want something. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note <laughs> yeah. all, right. all right I love y'all motherfuckers peace out <laughs>